Hello, everyone. How are you all going? I'm not too sure who is around yet. There might not be anyone around yet. <laughs> it might just be the two of us. So I did hint on Instagram that during this live stream, we were going to have a guest. And so our lovely guest is Kia, which is Mama's Bricks. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I don't think we left anyone yet. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> there isn't anyone, but that's okay. We'll just keep going and we can talk amongst ourselves. Oh, no, here's Corne. Corne's here. Hi, buddy. How are you going? It's lovely to have you here. <laughs> so Mama's Bricks and I just had... Hi, Corne. 30 seconds of panic thinking that no one was going to be watching us. <laughs> Going to be the two of us talking to each other. I know he would be here. I know he would be here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, Mama's Bricks, how are you going? Um, well, I'm uh, I'm fine actually. Uh, I'm behind my uh, oh, sorry, I'm behind my computer. Cool. Uh, and you're across me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Have, uh, focus yeah. here a little bit. <laughs> I did see our little mini dolls up there in the back and I thought that, that was fantastic. It's so cool. And then I'm obviously down here as well. Oh, I didn't get your mini doll out. I should have done that. Oh, uh, that's okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> You're much more organized than I, I am. I switched it to October, so I thought, oh, what shall I put down in October? Well, no uh, Halloween yet, so um, first this. <laughs> Paki's getting all talkative now as well. <laughs> yeah, he, he's hearing a voice <laughs> who's yeah, not in the room. Yeah, exactly. I think he constantly is thinking that I've got ghosts in the house or something weird going on. It yeah, also, I can imagine. Every time I need to do like a video meeting for work, he always is like, who is talking? Why can't I see them? <laughs> so he's so funny. Yeah. It is so, weird for dogs, sure. Yeah, yeah. It's it's cool, you know. I understand. I don't mind. <laughs> but I am going to crack on and open up my first bag because I will be building up book number two, which is our lovely quality Quidditch supplies and the daily profit. And I'm not too sure how far I'm going to get into this build today because, as you know, I was at a friend's wedding yesterday, last night, which was so much fun, but I am quite tired. <laughs> but tired or hangover? <laughs> um, I don't think I'm too hungover. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it might just be a bit... A bit tired, a bit of excitement. I did have a few wines at the wedding because it is all, <laughs> all exciting. Oh, Raps is here as well, but it doesn't look like Raps is going to be able to stay for very long. That's okay, Raps. It's always Hi, nice to you in the comment for a little bit. And Mama's Bricks is here with us today. <laughs> so, Mama's Bricks, what are your plans for today are you going to be building are you going to be chatting well uh of course i will be chatting but uh, i try to build as well um i love you to show you all uh, what i built last uh, week on our stream um and actually then uh, us um, the people who are in here, uh, what I should build because um, I had a list with things I could build. Um, but yesterday, a mail from Amazon came, and I thought, oh, yeah, mm -hmm, that might be a good thing as well. <laughs> I absolutely love that Aurora's cottage. So I just think it's so beautiful. I haven't been able to get mine yet. But, yeah, let us know what your thoughts are on that build. Um, well, um, it is really, really cute build. And it has some uh, uh, play features as well. And uh, I really like uh, what they did with Maleficent. Uh, because she's, yeah. I think she's better than uh, last uh, set she came in. They gave her the... Um, yeah, I, I call it... Um, 
Elsa face. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm not sure my camera will take this. Oh, no, our webcams are always so poor at focusing yeah. on our... Maybe I can do it further away, but we tried it. Hold on. Is there a bit more expression then on this no. Maleficent? Yeah, she has the, um, uh, the Elsa smile. Oh, okay. and, uh, cool. Actually, I think it suits a Maleficent better than Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> because Elsa gets kind of mean uh, sometimes with that face and yeah. actually um, it, it suits her perfect because she is mean um, and um, I like what they did with, uh, with the wheel uh, here you can see there's a, a hold on, other side um, um, a water wheel oh my gosh it makes yeah. noise yeah, it rattles Oh, that sounds so pretty. And oh, my girls uh, put a pan on the chimney. <laughs> but if you look at the chimney, um, it moves and I can't see it. Oh no, sorry, it's too far away. Okay. <laughs> it, it moves. Sorry, first time camera work here. Um, so it looks like all the sparkles are coming out of the chimney. Uh, as when the aunties were making uh, Aurora's dress. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that that has that um, movement and connection in there. I always think that Lego obviously does that type of engineering so well. Yes, yes. I love that too. And it's very special. And this actually is a new piece. That's mm, how we focus. Yeah. Uh, oh. This is a new piece. Not sure where they're going to use it elsewhere, but um, yeah, for this set it's uh, cute. Yes. Yeah. It's it's been interesting to see some of the new pieces that, that Lego has been coming out with, though, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah, so I didn't expect something like this. So I think they really have a plan. Maybe it's uh, going to be in. Um, um super mario sets or something <laughs> yes possibly and raps and corne have been chatting away in the comments which is so nice so that's been absolutely fantastic unfortunately raps has had to say goodbye oh. uh, but that's okay it's a different time today so people sometimes have plans have a great day raps and then Corne is actually letting us know that that piece is originally from the Monkey Kid line. Oh, so yeah, sure. Cool. Yeah. That's very handy. interesting to know. You've been um, getting... So I have a few uh, things to choose from. Um, I went to Ikea and bought the uh, uh, Lego Ikea boxes. Oh, cool. Uh, but I think that might make a lot of noise. <laughs> and I have the collectible uh, Harry Potter minifigures. Yeah. I thought that suits what you're building. Oh, yes. Yes. And um, I have, uh, you already knew, an old set uh, from Elves. Oh, it's not really a big set, but um, uh, <laughs> you like it. I love the olds. <laughs> um, art, I love the olds. <laughs> I have a dot set. Oh, cool. Um, yes. Come on a little bit higher. We've got lots and of yesterday, a package from Amazon came. Um, but I'm not sure I, I would build it today, but maybe if you all really love it. This one came in the mail. Oh my gosh, the tower. <laughs> yes. So now I am really doubting where I should get Fayana set as well, because that's the only one I'm missing. <laughs> and I thought, well, I don't need that because I have like half the parts, but I don't have her hut. So yes, maybe. <laughs> I oh, know it's it's a slippery slope. <laughs> so, Grené, what's your favorite? Uh, what shall I do? Um, I oh my gosh, that 
Yes, I just read that, uh, Corne. <laughs> Who am I saying the CMFs? CMFs, yeah. So I think that that might be a good starting point. Yeah. And, and about yeah. our other uh, question, uh, Corne, um, I don't think CrowdFot still has it. Uh, I ran into it, I think, a uh, half year ago or something, and it is, the box is really uh, mashed up. And so it was somewhere in behind. I think they just found it at the back of the store and put it in the store. Oh, you should do the Rapunzel Tower. Oh, nice. You have to choose, Corne. It's it is or the tower or many other things. <laughs> I'm thinking if Raps was still here, then it would have Raps to be. would definitely choose the tower. So actually I'm a little bit late to ask, I think. <laughs> I know. I still think maybe start start with some CMFs and then we'll see. We'll see yeah. if anyone pops in. Everyone's coming up. Because it's also going to be up to you as to whether or not you can do any videos of your channel specifically. <laughs> Four nice now saying, I didn't know you had the tower when I saw the CMS. <laughs> Yes, Mama's Bricks played her cards very well then. <laughs> I did. Oh, I also have the um, uh, Summer Cubes. Oh, yes, yes. That are still not built, but you already did a review on it. Yes, but, you know, I always think on um, stream it's a bit more, like, um, relaxed. So, yeah. Oh, Brickish is here as well. Hi, Brickish. How Hi, Brickish. I love your new little avatar with the pumpkin face. That's so cool. Yes. <laughs> so um, I am building up the Diagon Alley book number two, which is the quality Quidditch supplies. And I think for now, Mama's Bricks is going to be building a few CMS, but there's a few other options to choose from. <laughs> Brickish, so if you want to vote on any preference around what sets you would no, like we'll just start with a few harry potters that is yeah fine. i i, I think, think um actually uh Corne, i might save uh rapunzel's tower because it's my first stream and um i'm afraid i'm not going to finish it because i'm too distracted uh reading stuff and doing other things yeah. than to build for your first stream I think a, a bit of a Harry Potter fest, I think, is the nice way to go today. And then we've got Corne is giving us a little bit of news saying that there are rumours for a new mini doll line. I think it is interesting because... Yeah. We haven't really had a replacement for the elves mini doll line. So quite often I sort of think to myself, yeah, it should have been something to come out to sort of replace that one. And it seems like the name of it is video. Is I guess that that's how you pronounce it. It's not spelt like video, but it's kind of that spelling. So that's going to be very interesting. I know that um, a few of us, when we saw that the dots line were coming out, we were sort of wondering what was happening with that. I think that there was also a rumour at one stage about a mini doll line that was more fo focused around, like, witches and, like, magic, which I thought would be quite sort of interesting as well. <laughs> So, yeah, it's, it, it will be nice to see if we do get another mini doll line. What are your thoughts on that, Mum's Bricks? Are you... uh, yeah, I, I just read it, um, I don't know, half an hour ago uh, on uh, Instagram. Um, uh, I saw an account that has always leaked. He, he leaks, that's his thing, <laughs> leaking. And... Um, mm -hmm. 
I read it, but I didn't read anything about video, just about new uh, new mini doll series. Okay. Um, yeah. There wasn't much information uh, except uh, the numbers of the set. Um, uh, so I'm really looking forward to it. I have no idea uh, what's it about, but um, yeah, I can't wait to see pictures. Uh, I love it. Yes, yes. I think it's 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 much needed. I, I don't think they might have been holding off um, on having another mini doll line while Lego Movie Two was around because obviously mm -hmm. all sorts of sets sort of incorporated mini figs and mini dolls, which was awesome. And then possibly they might have held off again while Dots was being launched. So I think that now that we've sort of had Dots around for a little while and that's a bit more established, maybe they think it's time to now do more mini dolls. More mini dolls. <laughs> yes, finally. Yes. I hope, actually, I hope uh, Lego, um, uh, and I, I think so too, it is uh, a total new team that they made and that they came up with, uh, like like the elves. And yes. um, I don't know, well, they already did magic, and if you say it's video. Yes, that doesn't really feel I like. I have that. no idea what, what, what we can expect. I'm sort of like that sounds more like something to do with technology to me. Like if we're if they're making video or if it's going to be more cyber or sci-fi or something. That's the kind of impression that I get from that name. Right. Maybe they are going interactive as well, like they did with the hidden yeah. side stuff, and but now more for girls or so. I have no idea. No. No, I don't know how that's going to work, what that's going to look like. <laughs> no, me but neither. It would be nice to sort of wait and see what that says. And then Corne's saying here, a good friend friend of mine, L of L, found the set numbers and the theme name. And I've actually just discovered L of L as well. So I have actually watched a few of her videos this week, which was really cool. So a really nice sort of channel. I'm really loving what Ella L does with her city. So I was actually watching her city update today, which I think is a few weeks old, but because I've just discovered the channel, I usually hop around a little bit and watch different things. Um, one, two, three, okay. I just can't even count today. It's so funny. And then we've got... And then Corne is saying, we share a lot of news in the Brick Emotion Discord server. If you want to join Mama's Bricks, Corne would love to send you a link to it. So... Yeah, you already um, uh, asked me that before. And I was in the Sarah Bricks Discord, actually. But she invited so many people. Uh, I just couldn't get up with it. Yeah. There's too much going on in that Discord. So... Um, uh, that's the reason why I didn't uh, send you a message back. I thought, like, whoa, whoa, it's exploding. <laughs> I've no time to read that all. So um, um, I know it's there. Uh, maybe I'll join in or maybe I just have a look and then uh, probably, I don't know, just check it once a week and then see that I missed so much. So I won't check it again. I know. That's kind of like where I've ended up. I'm in both Sarah's and Brick Emotions Discord, but um, I don't check it frequently enough to be able to keep up with it all. So I, I pop in every now and again and then I sort of have a have a look around and I'm just like, I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> so, but that's okay. I just sort of go, we can do, do what we want. <laughs> it's nice that the... Um, the invite there. Yes. And then was saying that they've seen the leaks about video as well, and apparently it's music related. Okay. So well, then my oldest daughter has a problem. Well, she loves Andrea because she wants to be a singer when she grows up, 
Oh, fantastic. Yeah. You should not hear her sing because you'll get pain in your ears, but she thinks she's great. So that's, that's important. Yeah. Um, uh, so uh, she loves the uh, Andrea set. That's a misprint. She loves Andrea sets and um, uh, loves to sing all day. And um, um, Corne uh, knows it, but she's a big fan of K3. And um, uh, that's a Belgium-Dutch uh, singing group of three girls. And they make music really for the younger, uh, the younger audience. Okay. Um, and she loves mini dolls and Lego, of course. So, um, so uh, I favorite things combined into one <laughs> yes yeah, so that's really good for her and um um and andrea's house is coming out so uh, yes. i think she already has all presents for uh, this year and the next <laughs> i know <laughs> she mentioned it's uh, earning a keep that's what i always reckon pucky with as well you want Lots of treats and all your special things. You've got to get out there and earn your treats. And then he just looks at me with his puppy dog eyes, and I'm like, no, you don't have to do anything. That I'll just spoil you anyway. Yeah, but at least he just barks and doesn't ask my like, mama, please. Ah, oh, mom, please. I'll be very cute and nice and kind. And oh. I want to clean up my room, but I really want that Lego set. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, bless. So what mini figs have you gotten there so far, Mama's Bricks? Uh, well, I just have three to go and then um, uh, I can tell you all. Oh, um, cool. Yeah. Because I'll we didn't... Um, uh, yeah, Cornet uh, knows Katri from uh, 10 years ago. Well, they're still going strong. It's just different girls, but the whole concept is still the same. Oh, okay, yeah. They just switched girls because they came at an age that they want to have children themselves. And then it doesn't work if you have to uh, be on stage uh, the whole weekend. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that that's very similar to some of the other sort of more sort of kiddie friendly groups that we've got here in Australia as well, is that they sort of rotate the singers around a bit. And they usually have like, they usually have one that goes. And then the other three remain the same. Do you know what I mean? So it's oh, not, yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's not all those, like, a whole new group. It's sort of like they just try and, yeah, rotate things around a bit. I think here they just swapped all three of them, the first ones at least. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. I think they will make um, a switch another at a time. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then Corne Corne has Corne a nice comment as well um yes that one so he's excited about the new mall the cinema park and of course andrea's house we're all super excited about andrea's house yes <laughs> so exciting that she's finally getting a house i'm really curious to see what it's going to look like as well so yes and her, we get her little sister yes that's the other thing that i think a lot of people are sort of quite um, interested in as well because obviously we got Mia's brother when we got her house no um, there was not in the house set actually oh wasn't it oh no he came in the um, um the tree house in the tree house set yeah yeah and then he was in one other one wasn't he didn't wasn't he in another one or am i just imagining things no I well, he was so he was but not um in the house set Oh, okay. In the house, it was just her, her parents, and a horse. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe I stole him from one of the other sets while I was <laughs> while I had my display set up as well. Oh, Jack Brick's here. Hi, Jack Brick. How are you going? Mm -hmm. And then we've also got Patrick here as well. Hi, Patrick. Yeah. How are you going? Hi, Patrick. <laughs> Patrick is here because uh, I know him, and I said, well, I'm going to be on a live stream. Oh, cool. You've got to have a few sports. <laughs> Oh, and Jack Brick as well. Hi, Jack. Yeah, that's good. So, some more Dutch friends. Well, uh, now there are more Dutchies than from other countries in the stream. Exactly. I'm sort of like going, I think everyone in Australia has let me down completely. 
<laughs> yeah, where are all the Aussies? Because um, uh, Reps is from Europe as well. Yeah, I know. I know. There aren't any Aussies in the stream at all at the moment. But I think most of the time the people that um, from that I know from Australia in the real world, like my actual real world friends, mm -hmm. um, that watch the stream and that were in the stream last time, uh, actually the couple that got married. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, well, they are probably doing other things today. Yeah, so I was sort of like going, yes, I don't think that they'll be here this week <laughs> since they are still probably sorting things out and tidying up and, and everything because the wedding was actually at his father's property, which was so lovely. It was so beautiful. And, um, yeah. But then they also, yeah, it was, it, yeah, it was really nice. But it just meant that I, um, I don't know, <laughs> don't know what, I don't know whether or not anyone's going to make it here. And I've just seen Corne's <laughs> comment saying "quaka power," <laughs> which is hilarious. <laughs> and the other thing that I really want to talk about as well is Corne's LGBTI. Um, dots decorator box as well so yeah. yeah um it was so lovely to see that on instagram today i saw that today when i finally rolled out of bed and it was just so beautiful corno and it was just so lovely um that yeah you're feeling really supported and you're feeling like you can be yourself as well so i think that's the most important thing but yeah, thank you so much, Corne, for including me um, in that. And I know, Mama's Bricks, you were also included as well. So that was really cool. Yeah, I was really blushing. I didn't expect that, actually. Uh, Corne and I talked a while before we met in the streams, I think. Um, but I, I wasn't aware uh, to be an important figure in all this, actually, because we just talked on Instagram and showed some Lego pictures and saw that we liked same things. But um, yeah, I was not aware. At first, I, I even wasn't aware that he's a, a boy or a, a, a man. Um, uh, but yeah, um, I, I'm really flattered. Yes, it is. It's it's a huge honor. That's, that's how I felt. I was just... I got a I got a bit teary, <laughs> <laughs> and again I just sort of go. I think it's just one of those things that is just so important to sort of acknowledge that you know even in twenty twenty coming out can be really challenging and really difficult to do, and even things like you know a lot of my friends who are LGBTI also say that you don't ever stop coming out because it's still one of the things that continually happens that you you know. Again, you know, being straight or being heterosexual is still considered the norm. So everyone assumes that you are until you prove them otherwise. And so that's where that sort of coming out story can then continue throughout life. Yes. I'm hopeful, as always, that these things change. The more we become educated and the better we become at um, being inclusive and, and understanding that differences in the world make the world a better place and a more beautiful place then yeah hopefully things will continue to improve for for people so yeah well that's really beautiful set um yeah. i think it and i have no idea or that is true but i am um if i look at my um gay friends if i call it like this um yeah. i think at the moment uh, here in the netherlands it might be I think even harder than like say ten years ago, mm -hmm. uh, because the um, there are a lot more people from other cultures living in our um, country, okay, yeah. and I think that doesn't help for yeah. for this particular thing because um, yeah I'm a, I am a heterosexual and I'm married and have two kids and everything but. Um, I do have some friends and, and especially when I was studying, um, for me, it is normal and it's okay. And as long as you're happy, um, that's fine. I don't mind who you love. Um, it's very important to have love, as uh, Corneille uh, said uh, on the box, I think. Love is love. 
And um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's harder uh, nowadays, uh, actually, than like say 10 years ago. And I find it really strange, but it's, uh, um, if, I, yeah. if I look at the news, I think that for that community, it is a thing. It's getting harder and more difficult and less accepted. And hey, we live in the Netherlands. We were the first country that had um, a gay parade. Oh, fantastic. And there was a really uh, a big party thing that, well, I didn't go, but one of my best friends, and she's a hater as well, um, they did go to Amsterdam because it was such a great party and everybody was out there and having fun and it didn't matter uh, who you are, who, what you like and anything that, that didn't matter. That's and nowadays you, you can walk hand in hand on the street. Yeah, I think, um, you know, Perth has had a pride parade for over two decades now, and um, and it, and again, it's one of the best nights I think in the city um, because it is all about celebrating love and celebrating being yourself and celebrating you know accepting who you are. And I just sort of go I think it's like a marvelous message for anyone, you know, regardless of your sexuality or gender or, or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah, I think it's always going to be challenging. I'm hoping that it won't always be challenging, but I think that there's always going to be challenges because um, you know, people that like power and, and people that, you know, seek powerful positions quite often know that they can um, easily divide communities by, you know, trying to other and separate groups of people from from elsewhere so I don't know if that makes sense or not but yeah but Jez is here as well so Rogue Transformation Jez thank you so much Hi. for stopping by he's saying he's just got back from the beach helping his son with his geography homework so that's good so we can probably help him with his geography homework if it's specifically about the Netherlands <laughs> <laughs> Which is cool. And then he's I from the UK, isn't he? Hey? Rogue is from the UK, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then Jack Brick is saying all types of AFOL and TFOLs are brought together through the bricks. And that's yeah. exactly how I feel as well. It's just fantastic. And then uh oh, and then Kune saying his next box is going to be mermaid theme, which is really cool. So that's absolutely fantastic. And then um, Rogue's asking, how is Diagon Alley coming along? So you can see here, Jezza, that I finished off the last one for, for the last stream. And like Corne said, I am about halfway through bag six. But bag six had about four bags. So it had one big bag, two medium little bags and one actual little bag. So <laughs> it's a very interesting sort of collection of supplies that I've got going on here. And Mums Bricks, have you now finished your CMFs? Shall we have a look at those for a little bit? Yes. Um, oh, I didn't buy them all. Uh, okay. We'll have a look at the sheet later. I know, but you can have a look. Can I see the sheet? Uh, yes, I, um, I actually, I skipped Harry. And yep. uh, at the Lego store, they asked why. And I was like, yeah, well, he is in, like, almost every set. And yeah. uh, for the CMF, I don't think they made a great new Harry. Like, the T-shirt is, yeah, really normal looking. I like the book. But, um, yeah, well, Harry is nothing special, if you ask me. Um, uh, Dumbledore actually is really special. Yes, um, because he has the now. I'm not a Potterhead, so you should help me. <laughs> the um, Fox, the Phoenix, the Phoenix, yes, yeah, sure, the Phoenix, and um, yeah, it's really, really. Uh, uh, I should take my hand off. I have too much in my background. Um, a really beautiful bird, actually. They did a really good good job on him. And, uh, well, Dumbledore, if we have a look at his, um, uh, his outfit, his head, and under his beard. Hold on. That's okay. 
<laughs> Amy's in the chat now as well. Hi, Amy. How are Hi, you? Amy. It's lovely to have you here. Mama's Books is here as a special guest today. So um, usually you guys know that my live streams are a little bit strange. <laughs> <laughs> Weird and wonderful in a good way. And Mama's Bricks and I are definitely figuring things out today as well when it comes to our podcast. So, I mean, our <laughs> live stream. Yes. Um, so, my camera work is not great. I have to see how it's going to focus. I don't think it will. Um, but actually, I like his robe. And it is also totally printed on the back. And uh, you don't yeah. like also the um, the um lower part of the 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 rope and i don't think we've seen a print yet on this piece and uh, we've seen the skirt piece before uh but i'm not sure if, if i've already seen a printed one before uh so that's a really good job <laughs> okay bye jack bricks thanks so much for stopping by that's such a lovely comment as well. He's just well, said, yeah, well, I need to go enjoy pottering along. <laughs> <laughs> well, Adora, he bought two of the, um, 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 uh, well, I'm so bad at names, um, of the Harry Potter's house. Um, oh, okay. The, uh, uh, Privet Drive? Privet Drive, yeah, sure. Privet Drive, and he actually loves cars. So uh, before Lego came out with it, with this, um, he already um, made himself um, okay. a version. I think it was yellow or red or so, but from this car. So uh, on his YouTube channel, you can find a comparison between uh, his design and what Lego did with it. Oh, fantastic! I'll have to go definitely go and check that out. Um, yeah, it's. Yeah, I've, I've been able to find a few, like, well, not new Lego channels, but new to me Lego channels at the moment, and I've really been enjoying watching some of their videos. So I'm going to have to go over to Jack Bricks and see that. Uh, yes, yes. He did a great mock on um, uh, the um, uh, Friends from the TV series Friends. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, set, and that's where, where a lot of people know him from. Uh, oh, well, here's Hermione. Lovely. And, uh, her um, sweater is a little bit plain, but I really like that um, that they have. Um, I don't know. There's a pink stripe here. I don't think you can see it on the camera, but there's a pink stripe. So um, it shows that she's wearing something underneath it. And uh, why we all wanted to have this minifigure is because <laughs> of the Butterbeer. Yes, exactly. I actually do quite like that outfit for Hermione, but then I'm always a bit partial to stripy tops and stripy jumpers, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> well, I, I, it really suits her, and it, it's a really uh, cool sweater to uh, have somewhere in the city because it's, uh, it's just normal clothing, like what we would wear. Yeah. And so, yeah, uh, I think the same goes for um, for Ron. Uh, the arms are printed as well here on Ron's um, oh, cool. body part. Yeah. And uh, he has, uh, has better beer as well. So we are waiting now for more beer cups to come. <laughs> Not sure Lego... Um, will provide more use of alcohol <laughs> because it's a toy brand but um yeah <laughs> um uh, i really needed to have uh, uh is her name lena lena lovegood no, yeah, good yes you're right yes, yes. okay um uh, because of the hat of course of course I don't think right. she'll stay wearing it but some people at my um uh, dress up party uh, probably is going to wear this hat. <laughs> I love um, that hat. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, they should do uh, it's the one in the CMF with the whole lion uh, costume or something. Yeah, yes, maybe they will. 
I think they will. Um, I love her sweater. It really suits her. Uh, let me get her normal hair. It really suits her. Um, and the pink uh, pants as well. It's, yeah. It's just yeah. really her. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, Patrick saying, how does the sweater look with normal yellow hands? So that might be in reference to Hermione's sweater. To Hermione's sweater. Uh, I'll check where I have some yellow hands. Uh, not separate. I have to dismantle uh, someone. <laughs> <laughs> we might so, get back to that, Patrick. <laughs> pepper, uh, pepper, looser hands, but I have more pepper, so that's okay. Uh, Hermione sweater. I think that might that might not look as as good, actually. And Brick is just saying that they want Ron and Hermione with the butter beers. So, yes, I do think that the butter beer is such a good piece. It's really fantastic. And I think Leo should make a pop just for AFOLS because now they all on the adult line. So, um, <laughs> uh, so I think they should make a pop. Or, or, or just give us the beer. We'll make the pop ourselves. <laughs> Um, yeah. This is um, her all yellowed up. Oh, yes. Um, to be honest, I don't think the tan really matches the yellow. Oh, yeah. So there we go, Patrick. That's our thoughts with the... So, did with I the answer yellow. your question by that? Right. So who have um, we got... Yes, Mama. We've got Mama. Oh, lovely. Um, so that's, is that Molly Weasley? Yeah, Mo no, no. Um, uh, so what was her name? Lily Potter. Lily. Yeah, so we really got a cute Harry. Yeah. Um, that's not really good on the camera. Um, and the thing is, I think I have a little bit of a misprinted face, but I'm not sure oh, where no. the camera will, uh, will catch on that. Yeah. No, it won't. But the um, black lining around her mouth, especially her mouth, and a little bit of her eyes is too thick on one side. Oh, uh, no. And it's better on the other side the one that I turned to the back, a double face. Um, that's yeah. better, so it's a pity. Um, yeah, it looks now she lost the teeth or something. Oh, yeah, that's no good. Maybe you can see if you can go onto bricks and pieces and order another face. Uh, yes, that's a great idea, actually. No, it's not on bricks and pieces. Oh, is it? Oh, no, no, because otherwise uh, everyone will order the butter beer. I think. <laughs> no, I already looked for um, for the butter beer actually on bricks and pieces, and um, uh, there was something that said um, uh, we we we'll, you can buy it in a store or something. So they they don't um, they yeah. don't allow you to buy it separate as long as the collectible minifigures are still in the store. Yeah, and Brickish is saying that they uh, want Ron and Hermione with the butter beers, so that's a good one. I think Patrick is also wondering about the yellow hands on Ron as well. Um, Corne is saying that he wants Moaning Myrtle, Grip Hook, Ginny, Fred, and George, and Dumbledore. <laughs> so half of the ones that I don't have. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> well, that's okay. <laughs> you've you've been able to see Dumbledore <laughs> today. No, Genie is still uh, Genie is here as well, actually. Oh, oh good. There we go. And uh, uh, Myrtle as well. Oh no, the um, no yeah. Myrtle. Yeah, Myrtle here. It's her, yeah. is it? Yeah. Cool. Um, so yeah, we have James, James Potter. Oh, cool. And um, it's, I think it's really nice to have him, him because uh, I don't think we had Harry 
parents in a set. Uh, he has a really a great tile of uh, him and um, no, that won't work, I think. Um, really a great tile with a um, uh, picture of him and his wife. So you can uh, hold it in, uh, where is it, Harry? No, I think it's him. Um, so you can hang that in uh, Harry's bedroom or something. Um, he's wearing a nice suit and um, it's not really a special figure, but yeah, I've, I've figured out I need to have his parents. Yeah, I think it's more of a sentiment sentimentality of having um, Harry's parents as CMFs, I think, is the really nice. Yes. You know. Uh, and here is Gina, Jeannie in, I think, it might be her gala uh, outfit. But she's in yeah. the... Um, uh, she's in the Advent calendar as well, isn't she? Um, I... <laughs> Don't trust myself to answer correctly. <laughs> she I might be there, and she probably has a different dress. So I'm not of a big enough potterhead to know where this dress is from, but it's look it's looking really neat. So we'll um we'll have to wait until Corne lets us know. Corne probably will have to answer. Then there's another really cool piece. Um, I have no idea how we would call this, but uh, you will find them um, in your. Uh, you haven't built it, no. That's probably the last. Uh, the last book, uh, the ice cream shop. Oh, okay, yeah. That's in the next one, isn't it? Yeah. Um, there are really cool, know. cool balls, and um, uh, this is also a new part. And uh, you can put a drink in it, I assume, with a um, uh, cherry or something. And now they made it ice cream. So, oh. uh, yes. A really great part. That's her Slug Club dress. Yes. I knew Corne would know. <laughs> so, yes. So, that's um, where it goes to the, yeah, goes to the dinner. And yeah, so that's nice that we've actually got. Oh, oh yeah, that special dinner. Yeah. At, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, at the tower. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then for me, the last one is um, uh, how is she called again? <laughs> Forgot her name. Um, yeah, Moaning Myrtle. Moaning Myrtle. Yeah. Um, um, let me get her off the stand. Um, she has a really a nice book uh, yep. with the printed uh, front of it. And uh, inside there is a tile, uh, my name is Harry Potter. Hello. So that's uh, a bit spooky, but really cool, I think. Yeah. And I think uh, one she... little story, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And uh, <laughs> she's totally uh, blue and gray. Yeah. And... Um, she has a one. crying face on one side, and on the other side, she's looking angry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that sums up Moaning Myrtle's expressions quite Yeah, well. I think so too. So they really nailed it. Uh, yeah. I love her hair piece, by the way. I just checked that on a yellow minifigure. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. I love to have a second hair of this one. I think then someone will definitely walk with it in my city. Oh, cool. I like cool uh, hair pieces that are not a standard color or yeah. uh, they have add a color or something. Yeah. <laughs> and then Brickish is saying, Moaning Myrtle gives me the heebie jeebies. <laughs> And then uh, Corne is saying that Moaning Myrtle got killed by the Basilisk in the year that Hagrid got expelled. So oh, that's yeah. Hogwarts history there around Myrtle. So I do really like the fact that we are getting like a few of the ghosts um, with the Harry Potter wave like the wizarding world wave that we've had um i think that that's just really 
kind of cool and yeah i like it Right. Yes, me too. I think they did a great job for this minifigure series. Um, I didn't plan to get them all, actually. Um, uh, but I also like the print that are in the suitcase of one of the twins. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, but we uh, scrapped it from our list because they are in the Diagon Alley set. So my husband said, well, they're in the Diagon Alley set, so you can skip them. <laughs> I told him, here they are young and there they are old. <laughs> he didn't go for it, so. <laughs> I know. Having to try and figure out which ones to get, I think, sometimes can be a challenge. Yes, or just buy them all, but uh, yeah, we, we buy too much Lego already, so, and we actually, we decided not to get into Harry Potter last year, so we bought, um, um, because then they started with the castle sets or something, mm -hmm. and um, uh, we just got the advent calendar, because then we had all the most important people, and we would stick to that, but yeah, now they make the house. <laughs> so um, I needed to have the house. <laughs> and now we have, well, not all of them, but a lot of the minifigures as well. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, another team that Lego, yeah, got us into the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm... I'm the worst person to ever try and give any advice about what they should and shouldn't collect with Lego because I just get quite obsessed about wanting to have complete collections. I know that it's a problem and I shouldn't really be that focused on it and I really truly admire the people that are just like, oh, I just like collecting the sets that I like and I'm just like, no, I just need to have the collection. So I... It's it's silly and it's a bit, you know, random, but um, in some ways it's nice, you know, to be able to then display everything and, and that sort of stuff. But I just sort of think to myself, it's not the smartest thing to be spending all my money on. <laughs> well, well I, if, if you really... Um, yeah. but, sorry. Yeah. So, yeah, sorry, what were you going to say, Mother's Roots? No, I was going to say, well, it is your hobby and you get really yeah. happy uh, about it. So, yeah, maybe you should not spend all your money. You still have to eat something with vegetables and not just uh, noodles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was a bad one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, that's over now. You already paid Daigon, Ellie. So uh, now you can eat again, I hope. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's all good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I, I do always think to myself, I, it is really nice, I think, when people collect the sets that they want and the figures that they want and then they get to just enjoy those ones rather than, for me, I just sort of go, I think one of the challenges has been not being able to display my sets for very long because I'm constantly swapping things over because I can't, I don't have the room to display everything all the time. And so I think sometimes that's probably where it's a little bit of a shame. Yes, it is. Buy a wall. It's like uh, the groom is in the chat as well. So he is oh. away. <laughs> and Robin's saying hello. And then his solution is, <laughs> just collect Fabuland. Oh, but it doesn't sound like Robin's doing very well, so that's no good. Oh, that's but no I good. Well, collect yeah. Fabuland, uh, Robin. Um, uh, it is um, a smart idea because the team is finished, but it's got more expensive <laughs> through the year, so I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I know. I think... Um... From what I can tell is that Mrs. H does very well with tracking down bargains for Fabuland. And I really don't think that I would be any competition for finding <laughs> the bargains as well as what Mrs. H does. Now so she's a great, a great searcher for, uh, right. for things. Right. I have now finished bag number six. 
So that's where I'm up to. We've got a little Quidditch uniform here. We've got a Quidditch broom here. We've got the front door for the Daily Profit. We've got a little bit of the pink coming through here as well, which is kind of cool. Back over here, we've got quite a few like little newspapers showing up over here. And then inside of the front door, we've got like a little stack of the Daily Profit here with that sort of standard type of boy here. We've got a whole heap of weekly over here. I really like the way how they've displayed the uniforms, like down in here with all the different coloured jumpers and everything. So I think that that looks really cool too. So yeah, what we're up to with Harry Potter. So what are you opening up now, Mama's Bricks? Uh, especially for you, the elf set. Yay! <laughs> And for me, it's a small build. Um, yeah. Hey, you missed, uh, you missed a comment that I think you like to read. Oh, where did yeah. I left it? Oh, um, Dan Z uh, was online. Sorry? Dan. Oh, yes. Yeah. So here we go. Smiley's here. So Smiles is my lovely friend who got married yesterday. <laughs> so make sure that you guys in the chat send Smiles and Dan lots of love. Um, it was such a lovely wedding. I'm so pleased I went and had such a lovely time. And I can't believe that you guys are in my chat. <laughs> well, they both are. Uh, yeah. said, uh, hi, Ruth. Thank you for coming to our wedding last night. You, uh, you awesome, wonderful person. I hope you uh, had as much fun as we did. Yes, I did. Oh, where, where's Dan's comment? Oh, here yeah, he is. Yeah, it's much uh, higher, uh, I think. Yeah, there it is. Oh, thanks, Dan. Well, congratulations, so guys. Yeah, and thanks so much for stopping by the two of you. That's lovely. Um, Dan looked absolutely gorgeous and very dapper in a red velvet tuxedo jacket. And beautiful smiles looked like an absolute princess in her wedding dress. So it was so beautiful. I had such a lovely time. It was just amazing. And then I saw a comment of Cornet, uh, who has a dilemma or should buy Emma's fashion shop. Uh, I assume you mean this shop, Cornet? Someone has been playing with it, I, I see. But um, um, I really like this set. If you can score that, um, I think you can score that at Kruidvat for, uh, they have 25% off if you buy two sets. Uh, next week uh, again, actually. Um, so uh, I can't watch in your wallet, but I think you really like the set. It has um, more torsos. Uh, it has four torsos in it. Oh, James. Uh, because you get two for Emma and two for Andrea. And uh, for the price you pay for it, I like it more than the big one they had, I think, last year or two years ago. Um, it's a really cute set. It, it uses uh, uh, well, some stickers, but um, yeah, I like I like it. Yeah, I really liked that set as well. Um, I think that the shape of the building and the colour scheme is really pretty. I think that the light yellow with the navy yeah. um, and a little bit of the pink and the blue just looks really pretty. And I really liked the way how the building looks. Because it looks a little bit more like um, like an older terrace house or something like that that's been converted into a park, which I think is really cool. So yeah, that's, that's cool. I think the, um, the Lego gets more architecture, uh, even with the French sets. Yes. Um, and I think they do a really good job using the um, uh, light yellow because especially at um, uh, the restaurant, uh, I see that with more AFOLs on the moment. And that's because uh, it's really a usable set for everyone in their cities. Uh, mm. Not uh, just for people who like friends, but also um, because the building is really well done. And of course, mm. this is a smaller and a cheaper set. But um, yeah, I, 
I think they did a great job with the architecture uh, of it, actually. And I really like how they made the sign, the 3D sign. Yes, I think I think it's really interesting that a lot of people who build the expert modulars, the city sets and the creator sets are always really keen and interested and passionate about building 3D signs. And that's something that we get all the time with our friend sets. Yes. And sort of, yeah, quite often I think that people overlook the friends because they're quite cute and pretty and all of those sorts of things. And I'm just like, yeah, they've got some really sort of like unique design elements to them as well. And I think that there's been so many examples of really brilliant 3D signs coming out with friend sets. So, and I think that this is another really nice example as well. Yes, I, I totally agree. And, um, well, actually, I'm not sure he's still here, but uh, uh, I know that Patrick um, uh, also buys the um, friend sets and um, um, he doesn't use the figures. Actually, uh, we swap them. So now I have a lot of friends figures. Uh, <laughs> uh, extra new one to my collection. Maybe I should do a painting job or something, but I'm not sure yet. Um, but he uh, does use the buildings and the parts, and he's, uh, he'll, he said, well, uh, the friend sets are really great uh, for parts, especially sets like this, because they have the um, uh, corner door and the windows, and if you get them a little bit discounted, um, you have a really good uh, part ratio, price part ratio. Um and yeah, well, then they just put all the mini figure, mini dolls in a bin and then um, they use the building. So that's fine yeah. with me. <laughs> and Corne saying, to me, it looks like something that got inspired from Amsterdam architecture. And he would love to be able to add it to his mall with the City Park Cafe. Oh, and Brett's builds here. Hi, Brett. How are you going, mate? It's lovely that you can join us. Hey, Brett. Good to see you. So Mama's Bricks is here on her long day. <laughs> so we're having lots of fun. So... And then uh, Amy and Corne are discussing the fact that there's going to be a new mall set next year. So that's going to be really cool. And I think that the other thing that we've got to do is just send Robin Hull some love as well because he's having to go for a COVID test. So hopefully oh, yeah. that will, will come back okay and you'll be, you'll just got some sort of unusual little cold or flu or sickness and it's going to be nothing to too bad for you. So we're sending you lots of love. And because we can do this, because we're social distancing, we'll also send you some social distancing hugs as well. Yes. So virtual hugs are still okay. <laughs> so hopefully, um, Robert, all that will be okay for you. And, yeah, just, just so you know that we're thinking of you and we're hoping that everything will be fine. But it is, it can be very scary, I think. The test or to wait for the find out, you know, to find out. Yeah. yeah, to find out what's going on, especially if you've been feeling a bit poorly and if there's a high chance that you might um, have it as well can be really concerning, particularly with a, with a young little bug in the house as well. But, you know, hopefully, hopefully things will be okay, Robin. But, yeah, we'll just be thinking of you, mate. Yes, and, then, <laughs> and Brett saying, wow, adorable, you have guests. Well, yes, guest, <laughs> singular at the moment. <laughs> Mama's Bricks and I are muddling through our, well, her first live stream and my first time having guests. <laughs> so hopefully we'll power through and, and you guys will enjoy what's happening. <laughs> But as always, you have to forgive me if things are a little bit janky. <laughs> so, yeah. Adora, I think people uh, also really like that about you and about oh, your dreams. Actually, I do. If I speak oh. for myself, um, it 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 feels more that you're um, 
uh, yeah, I don't know, really uh, connecting and you're just being you and we can see you and how you really are. And yeah. uh, people who just do reviews and have really, um, I don't know, steady texts that they always use or, um, yeah, I don't know. A lot of people, I do it and I think you do it as well. I have a different, of always the same voice when you do the review because yeah. it's just you and your camera and you want to be informative for uh, the ones who are watching yeah uh, and this is more chatting to get to know each other and so yeah yeah i i agree i think it's it's like i mean i i i've been really absolutely enjoying doing the live streams and i think that many of you already know that I was really nervous doing my first few live streams, but luckily I was able to be guests on other people's channels and they really sort of encouraged me and supported me to start doing my own live streams. Um, and then you guys have always been super lovely and supportive um, of me as well, knowing that I'm not a huge person that completely understands technology. I'm not that useless, but I'm not that brilliant either. Um, but, yeah, I just really enjoy chatting away. And, and yeah, like you said, Mama's Bricks, it's a bit more relaxed and it's a bit more fun. And, yeah, it's nice to know that that sort of comes through to you guys as well. So, yes. <laughs> and, yes. <laughs> yes, Brett, definitely. But as Mama Bricks knows, <laughs> I'm not that great with organising stuff. <laughs> So there is a list of people that I would love to have on at the stream and I will get around to inviting everyone through. Um, but it's also that whole thing that I still need to figure out how to have guests and how all of that's going to work and all of that sort of thing. And even Cornet is saying that he'd love to join in in a few years. Yes, of course, as well. So hopefully, um, you know, now that I've done my live stream, solo for a few weeks and I think that it was really nice to be able to have Mama's Bricks on at this stage because I know that timing wise this was going to be one of your only opportunities in October to join yeah. us this night. So that's uh, actually my agenda is probably the reason why we're here today <laughs> not in a few weeks. Well yes and no I think one of the things that was actually quite funny was that I had gotten the not the date of the wedding completely confused, but the date of my life and my existence completely confused. So for some strange reason, I thought that the 10th of October was next week. And so I posted my thing about the live stream and I was just like, you know, doing a live stream this Saturday, blah, blah, blah. And then Smiley sent me a message on Facebook going, really looking forward to you coming to the wedding this weekend. And I was like, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> So then I had to apologise to Mama's Bricks. I uh, was then like, oh, my gosh, I'm now going to have to rearrange everything. But, um, I, you know, it still is good. I just sort of go, whoever's whoever's here are the other people that are meant to be here this week. And I always sort of think to myself, it's always about the quality of the conversations and getting to know everyone rather than, you know, expecting huge people to be here. And I also feel a little bit relieved as well to a certain extent that while I'm figuring out how to host guests on my stream as well it's that we get to do it all together and you guys always are so kind in the chat and everything so yes hopefully hopefully it's all going okay I'm starting to ramble now as well <laughs> and that doesn't matter either <laughs> Yeah. it's okay i think we'll be fine at least we have two screens and um and yes. there's lego on it and we're talking so yeah. <laughs> that's the way, uh... yeah and people are in the chat and everything so that's all yeah. good <laughs> i think that might be the scarest uh, thing for you that you swap days uh, yeah. and yeah we'll still come on sunday um well, yeah, I'm hoping that, um, well, it seems like most of the regulars have realised, which is cool, so that's all good. Um, and I did end up swapping the day on the YouTube thumbnail 
promo thingy bob thing. So hopefully people realised on that as well. And then I did also post on Instagram. But again, I'm not very good at like self promotion and you know all of that sort of thing either. So <laughs> I usually don't do very well with that stuff. <laughs> but um, which is fine, you know, each to our own. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, but it's nice to have you here this week. That's what we should be focusing on, that you're here, that we've, we've got some lovely people in the chat with us as well and that we're getting to build Lego. Exactly. So I know, I know that at the beginning of that set you get to build up the beautiful eagle. So how's that coming along, Mama's Brick? Uh, well, it has wings, uh, just no head yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that it's such a lovely design with that with that eagle. I think that it just looks so fantastic, especially for such a small amount of parts as well. Um, the Lego designers did beautifully with that. But, of course, I've always enjoyed every single old set, so I'm completely biased. <laughs> Well, um, I, I find it a, a pity that, um, well, that I wasn't there earlier. Well, I, um, the, the problem is with the elf sets, um, I was holding back because of the money. Yeah. And now yeah. I regret it because um, now I have to search all the, the whole internet to, to get the purple dragon. Um, and oh, I really yeah. love that set, but I thought it was too expensive. And we already bought too much Lego and other stuff. And well, this year um, I just totally don't follow the budget. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but when I did that back then, then I would have all the L sets now. And now I don't because I hold it back on buying Lego. So yeah, I know. It was better it's for my wallet, but not for the feeling that I have now that I missed out on some great L sets. I know, I know. Well, I know that with that with the Dragon Sanctuary set, the one with the purple dragon, that's one of the ones that I actually had to I didn't end up buying that as a set. I actually had to create that from um parts <laughs> on Bricklink. Oh, and you took, do that as well. Okay. Yeah, so on Bricklink you can actually go in, yeah, click on a set that you want, and then you can click on a button that then parts it out. And then from that, I created a wanted list and was able to sort of buy all the parts separately. But there are a few parts in that set that are quite rare. Um, yeah, the head and the wings. Um, and that, actually, yeah. there are no sellers in the Netherlands uh, who have them. Uh, so I probably end up uh, buying it from a German seller, but then it's a lot more um, postage cost. So. Yeah. Uh, but I, I ran into something on the marketplace. Yep. Uh, and it looks like they have the head. I already bought the jaws. <laughs> oh, cool. um, but I really need the head. And I think uh, I might find a solution for that uh, within the Netherlands. So um, I'll probably get the head this week. Oh, cool. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. I um, Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, I think that the when I when I was trying to build up mine, they were less of an issue, but the little um, baby water dragon, he yeah. was really difficult to find. So it took me ages to find him. And then there were actually a few of the tiles that went on the dragon as well that for whatever reason sellers kept on selling to me in dark purple when they were meant to be light lavender or vice versa. Oh, it was okay another but they got the colors wrong um and i think i ended up managing to get a lot of the generic parts from australian sellers but then i had to get some of the parts from europe so some of the parts that i had to get came came from european sellers which ended up being like you say a bit really expensive. expensive yeah i think some of the more rare parts i ended up getting from um croatia or slovakia somewhere oh, okay. so yeah, somewhere like that. And I was a bit nervous because I was sort of like going, oh, I don't know whether or not this is going to be a bit dodgy, like whether or not they're going to try and scam me or not. But, no, they were all good. Everything arrived. Everything was well packed. So I sort of went, yeah, that's been that's been good. And I think I ended up getting some other quite rare parts from them again as well. And while they were pricey and while the postage was 
more than what it would be if I was paying to companies to come from Australia. It actually wasn't the most expensive to come from them. Okay. So, yeah. But um, I know, I know the the whole feeling where you just sort of go, I can't believe that I've missed that one. <laughs> I can't believe that I missed those sets because I was trying to be thrifty and now they're all gone and I they're so much better. I just sort of go, I think that a lot of people sort of go, it seems like the elves sort of came out too early. I think that the elves line would probably be a lot more popular now than what it was when they first released it. So does that make sense? Uh, I think so too because um, I've seen more um people on instagram actually um trying to collect them second hand mm. and there um well i think he um it's it's account from a from a male but i know his girlfriend is collecting the um, um the elf sets and i think she just got in two years ago or something or just this oh. year yeah. Uh, so, and she really loves the elf set, so they are trying to collect them all second hand. And I think that's even more expensive than the uh, things that he uh, buys now in the new Harry Potter sets. Yes, no, I, I think that that would be really challenging because she wouldn't be getting any of the of the sort of new release stuff at all, would she? So, but again, I just sort of go. It is one of those things where sometimes. The collecting side of things can be part of the hobby so yeah yeah, yeah and searching for it as well yeah. uh, i find it really a thing in my life to, to look for great deals and stuff and the, uh, i find that the elf sets are still around like yeah. some you can still buy but the prices are like two times that you paid when you bought it back then yeah. and yeah, so the only chance you have to run into someone that's doing away their uh, little girl's collection. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the people who, who really look, they'll see that they are uh, more valuable now. So they will ask prices as well that I think, yeah, well, no, I'm not going to pay that for it. Yeah, and I think that, again, that's where I sort of ended up. I think I got quite lucky Um with some of my collecting because uh, I think that it was right before Lego Masters and all of that sort of thing came out and Lego Elves got discontinued while I was still collecting it. So I think it was just sort of quite fortunate that there were only really a few sets that I really needed to try and pick up and, and find to, to finish everything off and... Yeah, and I think that because of the timing of it all and, and that sort of thing, it just meant that I sort of got in without too too much extra cost, aside from the Dragon Sanctuary, I think, was the set that probably ended up costing me the most. Yeah. Um, I'm still really happy that I got it, and I still think if I was trying to um, put together that set now, it probably would end up costing me a little bit more than what it did at the time. So... You know, yes. I think so too. Well, uh, if I if I look at myself, um, uh, I think now I'm even more a Lego nerd uh, than back then in the, in knowing stuff. For instance, now the um, um, the hidden side team is um, is going to be um, uh, gone. Um, I'm really aware of it, and I think I know it. Uh, I knew it before, uh, I knew it early, so if I wanted to stack on, on it, I could do it now. And the Elves team, um, I don't know, it was, I, I read something about it and the next week or two, everything was gone out of the shops. Yeah. The yeah. prices were already up and it was already gone at Lego store uh, online and... I was just not prepared for it to leave that early or that soon, uh, as I heard the news. Um, so, and now I'm more of a nerd, so I'm really aware of what's leaving and what's new. And yeah, so I yeah. think that helps. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that that's been the thing with me as well, especially 
like becoming more engaged with the Lego community by being on YouTube and, you know, making more friends in the Lego world and all of that sort of stuff means that it's even been nice to follow, um, you know, some of the channels that do talk more about news. Like BFAB seems to always have a bit of gossip. The Daily Brick, Lex is really good with that sort of stuff. I know that Sky O'Connor, he quite often talked about what's happening yeah. in the Lego world as well. And I just sort of go, that's not stuff that I really um, search out or pay that much attention to, but it's lovely to know that other people do, <laughs> then they can let me know in the same way that because Corne knows how, you know, passionate I am as well, is that quite often he'll let us know what's happening and what he's heard and everything too. So I just think all of those things help when it comes to, yeah, just knowing what's happening with Lego and what their plans are. You know, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens with that um, video music theme, mini doll thing that we were talking about earlier as well. So, yeah, I like, I mean, I just sort of think back prior to me being on YouTube, I would have never known that. <laughs> no, no. You know, that's not something that I would have ever found out about. So, you know, that's where I just sort of go. It's so nice to be able to have, you know, Lego mates to chat to. Yes, definitely. Uh, I see, sir. Um, sorry, I see. Cornet says um, um, he had his first day at internship in a primary school in third grade. Okay, that's nice. So, did you enjoy it? Oh, I was pretty tired. Yeah, I can imagine yeah. that you're tired for those kids. <laughs> yeah. So the kids were so nice. My mentor was so helpful and he really enjoyed it. So that's oh, really that's good to hear it. And then oh, and then he said after autumn break, he has a whole week for his internship. So that's fantastic. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, go to bed every every night very early because you're going to need it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got um, Corne searched for the dragon head on Bricklink. There are a few, but most are in Germany. Yeah. The one for ten dollars in France. <laughs> so yeah. But the, the problem is, in, in if I um, if I get it in France, I probably pay up fifteen euros um, for the um, postage. So um it, it will finally get here i have no idea how and when but it finally will get here <laughs> i know i um i don't know who's seen but i've been um posting a few of the little animals that i've been collecting um from the cube series but in yeah. the case that i didn't actually get in my cube so once again i did go to bricklink to find some of them and one of the sellers um, that I found on Bricklink was actually in Hong Kong. And I, oh. ordered, and I ordered some of those sort of right around the beginning of COVID. And he was so sweet and he messaged me and he was like, oh, we're in lockdown, I can't get to the post office. You know, I'm happy to cancel your order or I'll keep them aside for you when I can. And he sent me a message a few months later saying, I've still got your order here. I can now um, take them to the post office, but I'll have to um, ship them via sea, which is the slowest form of shipping. And I said, no, that's fine, as long as they arrive. And they actually got here the other day. So, oh, nice. So I sort of went, I didn't mind waiting because I knew that he had really good prices for them. I was happy to support, you know, um, his business. Again, I think that, you know, some of the places have really been struggling with with being able to stay afloat and that sort of stuff too. So, yes. But, yeah, and it was just so sweet. He was so lovely. Um, and I was just really happy to get another little collection of, of animals. So I've almost got all the cube animals in all the colours. I've still got six to collect, and I think that they're going to be the six hardest to find, unfortunately. <laughs> But I've got my Bricklink list, so I'll continue on with my search. So then Corne said here, Lego Video is a collaboration between Lego and Universal Music with mini dolls. Oh, my God. 
Yeah. Rikita has said, um, I thought they were going to be mini figures and Corner is like, nope, I think that they're going to be mini dolls. And then we've got, I also heard they were going to try and appeal to the AFOLs. And Rikita has said that there's been rumours that the first wave was going to be more 80s, 90s musicians. Okay. <laughs> So then Corne saying Lady Gaga, Ariana Grande and Taylor Swift will become mini dogs. And then if we've got 80s and 90s, Michael Jackson, Prince and Britney Spears. And possibly Madonna. We have to have Madonna oh, in Madonna, there. Madonna, well. yes. We have to have her. But he's younger than we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Mariah Carey. I, I thought I heard uh, this week she's still alive and she's going to make another Christmas CD. <laughs> oh, really? Oh my gosh. Yes. I thought, oh wow, she's still uh, <laughs> she's still singing for music. <laughs> but do you know um, a Canadian um, a singer, uh, Lennis Morissette? Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, she uh, she uh, supposed to be. Uh, in Europe now, uh, okay. and I got myself and my best friend tickets for her show uh, in the Netherlands, but unfortunately, uh, because of COVID, it is uh, switched to next year. So I hope it, it's still going on, and then next year that would be nice as well, because then we are going to be forty. So that's even a better uh, way of celebrating yeah. <laughs> things. Yeah, that will be a really lovely celebration. So hopefully that will happen. It's going to be interesting to see how all those sorts of things um, roll out and, yes. and, and how that all works. I've always really enjoyed going to live music concerts. So yeah. that's been probably one of the harder things this year is not to have, you know, tickets to something and something to look forward to. So, yeah. <laughs> and then... Patrick said 80s John Bon Jovi as a mini doll with all the hair. Yes, that would be great. <laughs> my uh, Recently my brother and I have been uh, reminiscing over the, um, what was the, the, the cowboy one that they did that went with the movie? It wasn't Living on a Prayer, it was... Uh, days of glory <laughs> oh yeah and so we've sort of been getting really um retro and reliving our youth <laughs> vicariously <laughs> through bon jovi's blaze of glory <laughs> so yes oh okay so brickish is saying that the source that they're checking out um, says it will mainly be minifigures, but not to say that there won't be mini dolls. And Brickish then goes on to say that they hope that they do both minifig and mini dolls. And Corne saying, I think it could be a mix. And I think that that would be really nice for Lego to do because I think that that was one of the nice things about the Lego Movie 2 sets was having the mix. Yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, maybe Lego realised that that was something that a lot of the community really enjoyed was having both in sets for a bit of a, a variety. And even then I just sort of go, it is things like um, a lot of the Frozen sets have been um, with mini dolls, but then we did get the Anna and Elsa minifigs as part of the CMF wave. So yes. I just sort of, and then, you know, we were really lucky to have, you know, um, uh, Wonder Woman and Supergirl as part of the DC Superhero Girls theme as mini dolls, but then we've also got, you know, those characters as mini figures as well. So, you know, we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. We, we'll have to now just patiently wait for leaked images to come out. <laughs> and in the meantime, we'll have to just discuss amongst ourselves who our top picks for musicians as mini dolls and mini figures would be. Well, I'm always, uh, so that's the season now. I'm really looking forward to more leaks because I love um, to see the Ninjago, um, uh, the big Ninjago city set. Yeah, the, the garden. garden. Garden? Yeah. Yes. I'm 
look forward to seeing what that looks like too. Yeah, no, we probably need to save some more money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm very relieved that I've managed to avoid purchasing any Ninjago sets so far. I just really will have to try and avoid not to do that in the future because I just think to myself that will be far too much of a slippery slope for me. <laughs> yes, it definitely will. And let's see, the best set ever you already missed. So, uh... <laughs> yes, I know. And that's where I'm just like going, no, I've just got to breathe through it and just be like, it's okay. Um, I get to enjoy watching other people's channels and, you know, I get to see them on that. And that's that's good that I like doing that. I really love seeing how everyone else uses the Ninjago docks and the Ninjago city as well. So that's been really lovely. But hopefully. We have a new <laughs> friend uh, came in. Yes, yeah, so Lego Lemaniac here. So he's saying his phone's still not giving him notifications, but fortunately my monk is looking after me while your phone isn't. <laughs> And so then there is, Corne has a source saying that there will be minifigures, but there is not yet a confirmation that mini dolls will be excluded. If video gets successful, uh, we will get more modern stars, which is probably going to be a bit weird because possibly starting with the modern stars may do better. But again, I guess it depends on who they're targeting. So if this video theme is meant to be targeting more AFOLs, then they've probably got to try and figure out that. I would think that a set that sort of targets TFOLs and AFOLs combined would probably be okay um, with that sort of combination of musicians. <laughs> Lego Le Maniac saying, yeah, at least some part of him's here <laughs> while I drink out of my Le Maniac mug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Amy has to go. Thanks so much for stopping by, Amy. It's always oh, lovely. Amy. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and we'll see you soon. And then Corne has said Ninjago City Gardens will be at two high towers connected with gardens um, in between yes. them. Yeah, and they are in the water. So I'm really curious for the for the real pictures. Oh yes, yeah, it, and it will be interesting to see how then the gardens connect with the docks and with the city as well. Yes, because then I might have a problem in my city. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, there there's water, and there still is some room for the set. Well, there uh, I thought it was uh, one base plate. Uh, I think that was on the um, on the leak, but um, yeah, uh, it's going to be pretty full. <laughs> <laughs> but there's still room for one set. Yes. So um, and afterwards we need to uh, we need to do some stuff. So that's especially reason why I'm curious because now we're uh, building on the Ninjago City Park a lot, and uh, I always have in my head, oh, there's going to be a new big set. Where should I put that? Do we need to plan it ahead? But I don't have pictures, so I can't plan it. Oh, no. I think that it's always so exciting when we know that we're going to be getting new Lego sets. But then it's always that panic of, now where do I put it? <laughs> <laughs> how do I fit things in? What do I have to take out? And um, where do I, oh, how do I make it all work? Even today, I was in my spare room looking at where I've got all my Harry Potter Lego and I'm just like I'm going to have to do a massive reshuffle on that table as well so I did reduce down a lot of the hidden side sets that I was displaying on that table as well so now there's very little hidden side there and I think that all the hidden side will probably end up getting put away uh, eventually and then I've sort of gone, I think that I might be able to put my microscale Hogwarts castle maybe up on like one of our little levels that we quite often do in our cities. And then mm -hmm. I might then fit uh, either the forest sets. So we do have a few of those like 
foresty type sets because I sort of think maybe going into the dark forest would be quite good underneath that because then that wouldn't be out of place if it's a bit more dark or maybe I can put some of the Newt Scamander sets possibly underneath that ledge as well or something. Oh, yeah, you have them too. Yes. Yeah. They, so they, they do fit in, but they don't, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and then I've got all, all my Marvel sets on, on a shelf there, as, uh, which is sort of above my Lego table in that room. Um, and I sort of went, I might need to move my Marvel sets over to the bookcase, which is in the house, in the room where I've got my city. <laughs> then I'm just like going, I don't think that my bookcase is going to hold all the sets that I want it to hold anyway. <laughs> so I completely underestimated how much room I need <laughs> because I sort of went, it might be quite nice on that Lego shelf to then be able to display Diagon Alley, the Burrow, Privet Drive, um, and the sets that don't really go with Hogwarts so that then I'd have the micro scale Hogwarts at the sort of end of the table, maybe the dark forest underneath that and then have the larger Harry Potter sets above that or something. I don't know. Okay. But and the that, is, that well, is at your own house, is it? Sorry? Yes. That's at your own house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yes. So, yeah. And then uh, Brickish is saying, does anyone have the Ninjago City and the docks? I don't have either of those, but it sounds like you do, Mama's Brick. I, I do. I have them both. Yeah. And uh, for me, um, uh, Ninjago City uh, is the best set I ever built. It's not the biggest and not the most expensive set we have in, in the house. But, um, yeah, I like it that much because there's so much going on and there are so much different building techniques. And, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I really love that set. And at first, um, I was not in, really into Ninjago because, yeah, I don't have anything with ninjas. Um, uh, and it's more of a, a, a boys' team, to say so. But... Um, yeah, after seeing the movie and when they made those big sets, they really nailed it and to uh, to get really the culture um, of the movies in the set. And yeah, I think it's one of the best sets ever for me, at least yeah. to, to build. Yeah, I've actually heard that from a, quite a few people. Um, is that so many people have actually said that building the Ninjago City set is one of their favourite build experiences. They've just loved how it, it's been built up and how enjoyable all of that was. And so, yeah, it's really nice to hear that you've found the same thing, you know, that it, that's a really fantastic set to build. And I think that it also looks fantastic. Like I always enjoy seeing that set pop up in people's cities and, and everything. Yeah, so, there's so much to see. Um, there's so much to see in the build. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So let's have another look at the chat and see what else has been going on. So, um, Corne saying, "Rest in peace, hidden side. That will be missed." Yes, exactly. And I think Brickish is saying, uh, back to video, that it's got something to do with the tiles with the Elben covers. So that's oh. going to be interesting. So I wonder if that's going to be a bit more like mosaics of Elben covers. So we'll see. But I read that he said more like the cubes. Oh, okay, yeah. Really uh, small, small sets. Oh, okay, cool. Um, and then, yes, it will be exciting to see what it will all look like, <laughs> especially if <laughs> what's being said is true. And then Corne said, have we seen the leaked pictures of the Harry Potter classroom books? 
they are very blurry, but um, obviously Corne needs to get the Ravenclaw book. I haven't seen those at all. Um, no. I, 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 I'll, 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 so I can't really say whether or not that's going to be what I think. Um, Brickish is saying those books are not what they expected. Sir Corne said that his faves are Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff and that they would look amazing on a shelf. Brickish is saying that they'll probably collect all the books. I will probably end up collecting all the books anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and then Corne said that they are better than what was expected because um, he was concerned that they were going to use the Disney princess storybook pieces. I thought they will. Didn't they do that? It doesn't seem like Corne and Brickish are sort of implying that that's not how they're going to be done. Oh, okay. Oh, I assume that uh, actually. I thought uh, I like it if they use that part for something else. Yeah, yeah. It'll be interesting to see whether or not that part does get used for something else. But then I guess part of me also sort of thinks, well, we did have that ideas storybook set as well didn't we so maybe it's going to be a bit more like that type of a build i don't know mm -hmm. i've not seen blurry pictures so <laughs> i probably shouldn't be commenting on something that i don't even know anything about <laughs> so yeah it will be interesting to see that and it will i think it will be quite nice to be able to get uh lego sets that are actually house themed as well um for all the different houses. Um, right. <laughs> Keep having to go backwards and forwards with this. All right. Okay. Cool. How are you going along with your elves build there? Uh, yeah, I was just looking at the end of the book. There are always um, pictures of the sets that I missed. <laughs> um, um, especially the purple dragon head. Um, yeah, I finished it. Oh, um, I really, I like the eagle. Yeah. It's really I nice really well like done. The eagle board too, I think that it is. I agree. It is really well done. And, um, well, I don't have much with this play feature like shooting things around <laughs> um so um for that price it's a nice set that uh, back then they had a small set uh, to collect um the the mini bed so like this is the green one um yeah. i like the eagle and of course um it's good to uh oh hold on stay on your feet um, um uh, to have um emily in a in a cheaper set yeah. uh but the side build hmm, i don't know it's, uh, I prefer the sets from the first wave, I think. They're more yeah. uh, from the elfish world and magical, and this is about the enemy. And yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I didn't really like the Bat series that much. I have um, I have the one with, um, with the bigger Bat, actually. Let me grab that. Yeah, I think, I think the side builds from that wave of the elves do look a lot better next to the castle than in the country. Whereas I completely agree with what we're saying, that the sets that we got earlier seemed to build up more of the world for the elves rather than for, like, the the evil elf or the villain or whatever. So yeah. it was sort of nicer to be able to get sets that sort of were prettier. <laughs> Oh, no. Yes, More. well, I think that's the right word, prettier. And um, I don't know how she called Morgana or something. There was a whole story about uh, how she turned evil and stuff. So if you um, if you watch the um, television series, uh, these sets totally fit in. 
Uh, but if you just look at the set, then um, yeah, I just prefer the first wave. And uh, this is the, the big bed that's um, from the set that uh, had a great um, a big tree with some yeah. little uh, the tree house. Shop. Yeah. 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 So well, I really like the tree. And um, well, he or she is just lying around. <laughs> <laughs> we don't use it. Maybe I'll use the wings someday, but not probably not with the head. Yeah. yeah. And the same as when my oldest daughter really liked um, the villain castle from the second wave, I think. The, um, yeah. I don't know, that guy on the green dragon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, Cronin. Cronin, yeah, yeah. Um, um, and she really liked to have the um, the dark castles, but because they were not really cheap, um, we didn't bought them. And I have no idea why she likes it. Because when uh, back then she watched the series, she was also kind of scared when um, when they took them hostage and when he got really mean and so. So I have no idea why she liked it that much. Um, uh, but yeah, I um, I prefer the first wave, and I don't have much sets of the first. Wave. I do have the uh, Skyros Castle, though. Yes, which is so a the most expensive set. So I shouldn't <laughs> I shouldn't feel pity for myself. I have the most expensive set. <laughs> you scored that one, which is good. <laughs> I did. Cool. Yeah, and then. It's and then it's really nice, Brick is just saying here, even though they're not a fan of the mini doll, the elves um, theme is, is their favourite. So I completely, completely agree. Well, I think everyone knows me well enough to know <laughs> I love the elves theme, so I won't ever say anything nasty about that. So, Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I really enjoyed that build um, with the with the eagle, um, and I think that in in my study where all my bookcases are, um, I do have um, at the top of one of the bookcases all the bat sets together next to each other, and I think that that actually looks really nice when they're just sort of, sort of displayed next to each other. What does sort of look a little bit odd when they're not and I think that when we had the goblins um and and that sort of wave it seemed like the goblins were easier to sort of integrate in with the elves sets through through that one yeah Does that, that makes sense yeah but I think also because they um uh although they were evil they were still cute yeah yeah and that helped <laughs> yeah and I think even in the storyline, it was sort of like, well, they didn't start off evil. The Goblin mm -hmm. King obviously put the spell on them. So that sort of, I think, helped them remain cute. Um, and I must admit, even with the bats, is that I think that the bats look a lot cuter when they're all lined up next to each other because they do actually have quite funny little faces and expressions and stuff. But I think it's also one of those things that an individual bat isn't probably as cute as um, um, an individual goblin. <laughs> Sorry, I got really distracted then partway through that sentence. <laughs> oh, dear. No, that's okay. <laughs> right. So I'm just attaching the Quidditch supply front to here. And it sort of is a bit wobbly. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, cool. So I'm supposed to push it back a bit. Cool. So there's bag number seven done. Wow. <laughs> so how are you going there, Mama's Bricks? Are you going to stay with us for a little bit longer or what's your plan? Yes, I am allowed. <laughs> I actually, I um, I chatted to um, um, uh, to um, Jennifer, Jennifer, no, 
Um, yeah. Um, no, not Jennifer. Um, Gia, Geo Jedi. Yeah, yeah, Angela. Oh, Angela. Yeah, I was like that. She's called Jennifer. Um, I was chatting to Jennifer, uh, Angela. Now I said it again. Um, uh, and she said, "Well, when um, when Ruth starts, it's five in the morning. Yeah. So she won't be awake then. And um, uh, so I hope I can stay here uh, till she um, she's on. That would be fun." Um, uh, but for them, it's like really, really early in the morning. So, um, and I said, oh, and that's even on a Sunday. So she might be here when it's for her, it's uh, seven or eight o'clock. Yeah. Um, so, I did uh, say, yeah. I did say to her to just see how she goes that, mm -hmm. you know, that, that we can just <laughs> play it by ear a bit. But don't forget, I am used to streaming by myself. <laughs> so it's up to you. Obviously, you're more than welcome to stay for as long as you want. <laughs> no, you can just kick me off if you um, if you don't want me. But I'm I'm eating a cookie and drink something. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> I saw Cornet leaving for a snack as well. I thought, yeah, I should have a snack as well because it's here and I haven't eaten anything yet. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And it's nice to be able to see the uh, elves and, and the CMFs on screen. So, no, that's all good. So, right now, on to my next little level. So, we're moving up. So, we're on to the second story, I think, now. That's looking great. Yeah, it's it's. Yeah, like I mean, I just sort of go based on everything that we sort of was were able to build up last week. I sort of suspected that this was going to be a really nice build again this week. So it is living up to its expectations already. Although I'm probably not the most focused roof that I've ever been, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, oh. That's okay. Uh, I have a question for the um, uh, for the chat. Uh, yeah. Lego, at least in the Netherlands here, but I think it's all over the world at the moment. Um, they have double VRB points, and um, mm -hmm. I was wondering: um, Do people buy sets now because it's double VRB points, or are you waiting mm -hmm. for? Uh, the gift purchase uh, in November and December? Well, 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 yeah. We'll post the Maniac's comment while we discuss this since he's chatting about the elves. <laughs> but um, for me, in Australia, the... Uh, Lego, the online Lego shop, because I don't actually have a physical store in Perth, in Western Australia, which I think I say all the time. And <laughs> I say all the time until that changes. <laughs> <laughs> um, is the most expensive place to buy Lego. So usually that's my sort of last resort. So I usually will try and buy Lego anywhere else um, and it, and if I can't get it anywhere else, that's when I'll go to the Lego shop. Um, I don't usually pay that much attention to VO point, P points or gift with purchases because it's not like very often that I will buy from the Lego shop. It is very lovely, though, when it just so happens that I end up with a gift with purchase or with VO P points. Um, because then I usually will end up obviously saving money later on different sets. And usually the sets that I have to get from the Lego store are things like Diagon Alley or um, the Hogwarts Microscale and that sort of thing. So, yeah. Um, and then there's also been like some random sets as well that were sort of quite weird. Um, I think the Mulan set, the most recent set with Mulan um, that um, that came out I think that that was at one of the department stores here in Australia but rather than getting it from the department store I just ended up getting it from um, the Lego shop 
And oh, you were just at the Lego shop. You yeah. couldn't go anywhere else. Oh, okay. Oh, so that wasn't just an Australian thing. I wasn't sure whether or not that no. was. Like, no, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, so, like, yeah, I find it really strange because, the, um, um, yeah, we call her Vayana, but I think you call her Moana. Yeah. Uh, the Moana set uh, popped on in some stores, uh, but not in many. And um, uh, I think at the moment that is just on uh, the Lego store, the Lego website uh, to buy, because yeah. those two sets are going to retire. And now uh, the um, um, Cinder uh, Cinderella, no, uh, the Rapunzel's Tower and um, Sleeping Beauty set, they are all over the place. Oh, okay. So I have no idea why Lego chooses to um, to put some just for themselves and others are in every single store. Yeah. Well, I think here um, we've always been able to get, like, the Moana sets everywhere. So um, I think um, I think I've managed to get all of my Moana sets just from the store. But yeah, I, I mean, again, I'm just going to go. I, I, I don't always understand the decisions behind why Lego <laughs> does what it does. <laughs> no, they well, must have some very smart business people that you know know more than, about this sort of stuff than what I do. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it's always sort of quite interesting, really. I think to to hear how how. Lego is sold in different parts of the world as well, and that's what's really lovely about um, talking to everyone too. So, uh, all right, let's have a look at what people have been saying in the comments. Yeah, we're still doing it too. So, Corner is saying, I'm getting Diagon Alley. Those will be his first 3,000 VOP points. Um, Brickish is saying, thinking about buying some sets while double VIP is on, but would have preferred to get some freebies. Um, Corno went on to say that they, he doesn't actually buy Lego from the original website, but since Diagon Alley is an exclusive, kind of has to. And then Brickish went on to say, I wish I'd waited to get Diagon Alley and Moss Eisley for double VOP. Yeah. They always do that, though, don't they? They get yeah. us one or another, Brickish. <laughs> I can't imagine, but you did get freebies because you bought them really early, did you, Brickish? Yeah, I know that I got the Hagrid and Buckbeak, so that mm -hmm. was my freebie that I got with this. The Brickheads, yeah. Yeah, the Brickheads. Um, and then Corno went on to say that he wasn't able to find Moana sets in normal toy stores either. <laughs> Brickish has gone on to say that they haven't even built either of them yet. <laughs> <laughs> Just return them to Lego and get your VRP points <laughs> this week. Yeah, I know. <laughs> And then lamaniac has gone on to say that he doesn't pay much attention to VIP or gift with purchase. Um, and then he tries to get the exclusive sets from Lego as soon as they are released to make sure that um, he gets them before they run out of their first stock. Yes. I think the maniac learned that lesson the hard way with the gingerbread house last year <laughs> that didn't arrive until February or March. <laughs> and so that might be me this year, uh, Lego the maniac, with the um, elf clubhouse because I haven't gotten mine yet. And when I went on to have a look at the Lego shop, it seems like they've already sold out of our first wave of the clubhouse in Australia. <laughs> so, but that might be a blessing because I probably shouldn't be purchasing any more Lego for a little while <laughs> since all, all of this has been going on. Yeah, you haven't finished it yet. So when you finish building, you can watch for other sets. <laughs> Exactly. There's no rush. And then the maniac says it takes a while to get shipments. Um, so he's got to be early, yes. 
Yeah, and I'm lucky that we have a store here. So I'm sorry for you. It, it takes ages for a store to be in the Netherlands. So uh, last we last year we got two, and actually next year we get a third one. So finally, Lego knows where to find the Netherlands. Um, <laughs> But um, uh, that's actually pretty bad for your wallet, uh, Lego the Maniac, because then there would be a, a pop wall and you'll have to buy a lot of cups when you get to the store every time. Um, but um, yeah, I'm um, on high on our list um, to buy from Lego because we, we don't buy all the Lego from Lego itself. Um, uh, is also the gingerbread house because I missed out last year as well. And actually, we were hoping to get it a little bit cheaper from Amazon, but it's not on Amazon. So um, I'm definitely going to buy it from Lego this year. And of course, the new Elves um, Clubhouse. And my husband has, um, the, I think Lego Maniac already has it, the real, um, uh, the big monkey kit uh, Mac. The expensive oh, one, yeah. Um, that he has that high on his wish list. So I think uh, for those, um, well, a little bit expensive sets, um, I think we wait for gift with purchase because in November and December mm -hmm. you always get the best ones. And if if they are really good, like the book uh, that already leaked out, I really want to have it. Um, uh, that's at least 100 euros or maybe even 120 euros to get it, I think. Yeah. Um, so uh, I think we wait on this one and uh, wait on that one. And um, yeah, they're always better gift with purchase in November, December, I think. And easily you get the $20 extra set, well, for free. Uh, it's not really for free, of course, but... Yeah, I really love them, so um, I think we we are waiting. Uh, but I find it hard because when it came out, like oh, double VIP points, oh yes. <laughs> but yeah, maybe not. So I was wondering how people look at it um, because I saw some people on Instagram who already bought a lot, and a lot of people who said, "Well, wait for a cool uh, gift with purchase." Yeah, and I think that that's always the tricky thing because you sort of go, you do, I, like, I mean, I don't always know what's sort of coming up when, when it comes to all of that stuff. Um, so I don't really make my decisions based on that. Um, so, again, it's always sort of been a nice surprise to get a gift with purchase. I think much like Brickish, I would probably prefer a more Lego to build rather than VIP points. But there have been times where I have sort of been quite grateful for VIP points as well because then I sort of go even though I'm spending more money on the set on the Lego store with the VIP points at least then it would be potentially what I would have spent at the cheaper stores <laughs> if that makes sense <laughs> so <laughs> even though you only get VIP points for spending your money on Lego. I sort of go, you do still get a little bit of a discount back again, I guess. Yeah, so. it is 5% uh, off, and if uh, double VIP points would mean 10% off. Yeah. So yeah. Um, if you calculate it at forehand, <laughs> it will give you an extra set in the future. Yeah, exactly. Like that's sort of how I try and look at it. <laughs> but maybe that's because I spent too much money on Lego. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway well, that's exactly what lego the maniac is saying uh not having a store here has no uh, has not limited me buying lego no i i totally understand <laughs> no i love the same with me i think we were meant to be getting a lego store in perth this year but the room is now changed till next year so hopefully that will happen because i think that that would be really nice to be able to pick up like um what uh the is it the bricks and pieces in the cups no pick a brick cups pick a, pick a brick yeah that would be super helpful i'd love to be able to have pick a brick cups and stuff well um already start saving up then root because that's uh <laughs> that's going to be an addiction i always go to the lego store and then have a look at the plate because now uh, now there's a plate of what they have 
and um, uh, you're not allowed to uh, pick them yourself. They they do it for you because of uh, COVID, and yeah. that's um, that's fine. So I always look at the plate, and then um, the manager said, "Well, is there something on uh, you like to have?" And I said, "Well, there's always something on it that I like to have. It's just, yeah. or I am going to do that today or not." Yeah. But I think it's like, for me, I just sort of think to myself, it's, you know, at the moment, particularly with like my city and particularly with the frozen section of my city, um, the Arendelle section of my frozen part of my Lego city is that I'm really keen to get um, the dark tan masonry bricks. And I just sort of go, it would have been so nice <laughs> to have been able to get them when they were on a pick a brick wall somewhere rather yeah. than have to go to Bricklink and try and search for sellers that have large quantities and then try and figure out, you know, how I can purchase those and how that's all going to work and, and blah, blah, blah. So, And um, it and is I, definitely cheaper. If yeah. You, if you fill a cup, uh, especially with one by twos as the masonry bricks are, if you fill them, it's much cheaper than buying it from Lego or, um, or from Bricklink. And actually yeah. the most uh, Bricklink sellers uh, we'll have a store nearby and they'll go and fill their brick, their uh, cups and sell it uh, to people like you who don't have stores nearby. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I remember ages ago, JC from Small Brick City did a whole comparison video on, you know, picking yeah. cups. And I was just watching that, muttering under my breath. <laughs> well, <laughs> actually, back then... <laughs> yeah, back then we didn't have a store yet, and he actually said there are four stores within 10 minutes of his house. I and I was like, that is so unfair. I have to go to Germany and drive two hours <laughs> to get to a Lego store, or oh, yeah. to Belgium to get two hours to a Lego store. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I remember for quite a long time he would always say to me oh but your closest store would be in Melbourne and I was like yeah closest Australian store but actually for Perth it would probably be cheaper and quicker for me to come to Singapore and stay with you and Annie <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like you're not staying with me and I was like oh I thought that, that was an invitation <laughs> I was always teasing him about that <laughs> I hope I hope he's going well at the moment. I know that he's been out of YouTube a little bit, so yeah. When I um I read that that he's still um away from his Lego city and from Annie, I thought, oh, that's really yeah. bad for your relationship to be apart so yeah. long. Yeah, I know. It's really quite um. You wish that to nobody. No, no, exactly. So uh -huh. shuffling around trying to find one 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 by one plate. <laughs> A one by one plate. And then Robbie's saying, sorry everyone here had to pop out for a little bit. What did he miss? Just the usual, you know, bits and pieces of us so chatting away about a variety of topics, right? <laughs> We've caught up on a few little bits and pieces of Lego news. Um, but everyone in the chat is a lot more informed than what myself or Mama's Bricks are about some of the leaks and some of the potential new sets. And so that's sort of what we've been talking about. Oh, I see that you're getting your IKEA boxes out now, Mama's Bricks. Yeah. Okay. Nobody got a hint. I thought I'd put two projects up on the background and then see that someone was <laughs> saying, yes, you should build that. So no one is. So this is an IKEA box for Lego. <laughs> and um, these are these are the small ones. Um, yeah. uh, and um, they're really cute. I see some people uh, mock around with them. Um, but I think the small ones are really small. They can attach uh, Lego um, on the plate. 
uh, pretty sturdy actually. Um, but these really small ones are really small because we thought well maybe mm -hmm. the girls can put in their uh, mini dolls in here. Yeah. Um, but they have more mini dolls than will <laughs> that will fit in here <laughs> already. Um, so I have no idea what they're going to do with it, but it's um, they're nice. So in the cheapest set you get two small boxes. Yeah. And a little bigger one. Yeah. I think that those size boxes, that smaller size, would probably be quite nice. Like, um, have a little bit of Lego to take to, like, your grandparents' house or, like, to your auntie's place or if you were going over to a friend's place, it would be it'd be quite nice to use for that sort of thing. I'm not yeah, too sure how, yeah, I'm not yeah. too sure how useful that would be for storing actual collections. And again, it might be they might be quite nice to display. So you know being able to sort of probably stack them up like an apartment building or I don't know. Yeah, I've seen some really great uh, great things that people with it with them so uh, put in windows and uh, make your extra thing here with a door and stuff so um but I, i'm not sure they are that creative but i think they'll definitely going to use it and put some slides on and yeah yeah i yeah. think the small ones are more uh to build with and um I bought two of the biggest size but i don't think they will fit really nice on the table at the moment um uh, that's meant for storing lego yeah we can save the larger size ones for a video of them as friends <laughs> <laughs> that's fine we can watch that later yeah no that's there are um, it's interesting i think it's an interesting sort of collaboration between the two companies Yes, and actually there are a lot of collaborations at the moment. Lego uh, has been um, talking around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. They've been busy. <laughs> yes. But I, um, I think that that's sort of quite interesting because I'm assuming that most of those collaborations would have been in the works for a while. So I don't know quite whether or not they're going to be as successful um, now that we've got like lockdown and all of that sort of thing happening or whether or not people have found that. I know that here in Australia, Lego has been super popular because of um, lockdown. Um, lots more people have been getting into Lego and being able to have that as a bit more of a family activity and something to do like jigsaw puzzles and Lego seem to be two quite popular pastimes. <laughs> for lockdown activities. So yeah, it's going to be sort of interesting to see how those collaborations, whether or not they'll continue, whether or not it's more of a one-off. Um, yeah, I think that with the Levi's and the Adidas, I think that they might be more one-off, but it will be interesting to see whether or not the Ikea ones are, or whether or not we'll get a few more different bits and pieces next year or, or whenever. Yeah, I think the same. I, I don't think um, there will be much more shoes. So I don't know anyone already get the shoes. <laughs> um, and uh, for Levi's, I, I don't think either that there's going to be a next wave. Um, no, I don't think so. Uh, but for IKEA, I assume they'll get more. I yeah. actually do. Uh, I have no idea what, uh, what there may be another storage system. Or maybe, I think, um, actually, I thought they would make a, um, I don't know, a play table or something. A lot of yeah. people uh, already do the IKEA hack with, um, uh, sorry, IKEA hack, um, uh, with, uh, how is it called, the small square tables. And yeah. then yeah. I put, put a base plate, glue a base plate on it, and then yeah. for kids to play, and it works perfectly. So actually, I thought uh, they will come out with something like that. Um, but yeah, I think these are nice for kids. Yeah. Not for adults, because they are far too expensive to store your Lego. And um, 
yeah, but that's not for me. It's not a solution. Um, but I think they're really playable. So for kids, it's great. And I'm really curious. I think um, they definitely invent some more um, things with IKEA and, uh, and Lego. Um, yeah. I have a sad message for you. Oh. Um, Angela just uh, sent me a message uh, that she's uh, so exhausted. I'm not going to make it to root stream today. <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> That's fine. I know that she's been um, struggling with her health a little bit lately as well. So it's much better for her to rest up and and enjoy her Sunday rather than worrying about getting up at the crack of dawn <laughs> to, to join in with the live stream. I'm sure that she will pop in uh, on another day. Which Definitely. Will be, yeah, which will be lovely. So I'll um, I'll message her once I finish up. So, um, yeah, but that's all good. Um, yeah. And, um, yeah, and then also, um, Mama's Bricks, just make sure that, um, you know, it, whenever you need to go, because I know that you did mention that you might not be able to stay for the whole stream, that's fine as well. So, yeah. But if you want to stay, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard anyone screaming like, you have to come downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll keep you up here for a little bit longer then. <laughs> and we'll so, get to well, then, uh, then you guys have to tell me what I should build because I don't think IKEA boxes are less interesting. Um, what else? Something like that. Sorry? One of the cubes. What about one of the cubes? Something like that might be good fun, hey? They're cubes. Oh, or we're going to do a dot set. Dot set would be good too. Whatever you want to build, all good. And um, Jez has put up here the uh, storage box is not practical enough for him and his vast collection, but maybe kids will find a better use for them. Yes, I tend to agree, Jeremy. Like I just sort of think to myself, um, you know, it was interesting to see a lot of the comments from AFOLs going, oh, we don't really like that. That's not really suitable for me. And I was just saying, but they're not in the adult storage section of IKEA. They're in the kids section of IKEA. No. It's definitely a product designed for kids' needs and not AFOL needs. And so I think that that's something that I was, you know, taking into account when I was sort of looking at the product and, and thinking, you know, who's going to enjoy this and, What's that going to mean? Oh, I've already gone pear shaped. <laughs> Skip to row now. <laughs> but yeah, I just sort of think, you know, quite often when it comes to that stuff, we just have to sort of remember some, some IKEA pro or some Lego products are not always for A folds, and we've just sort of got to accept them. <laughs> some, some. The others are, but some are not um, for us. Not for us. <laughs> We can still enjoy them and put them to use, yes. but it may not be exactly what we need. It may be more with for the kids in mind, which is fine. But yeah, I'm very much in the same boat. Um, I think that the boxes look lovely, they're so well designed, but I just think to myself, I don't I can't even imagine how many IKEA boxes I would need to get to be able to store my they're far yeah, too expensive. Yeah, exactly. And and part of me just sort of goes, I think that I would prefer to just put my Lego parts in my various random assortment of containers and um, <laughs> spend more money on Lego itself. <laughs> uh, we talked about um, a regret sets yes. uh, a few weeks ago, I think. Well, I find a solution for my regret set. <laughs> What's that? Um, I decide to build it uh, from um, a Brickling and a Lego so uh, sets. Oh, fantastic. So as you can see, uh, it's not really complete in the right colors yet. Uh, <laughs> but this is how, how far I came with my own um, uh, spare um, bricks. Uh, I just got this one ordered uh, from Lego Bricks and Pieces. And um, now I, um, well, there's an order in the making uh, that has the gray ones for here 
and some more black windows that I miss. And here I miss a black slope. Um, and well, all the windows actually in the right cars. Uh, but I tried um, this out in white. Um, and in the real set, it has um, nougat, I think, or dark nougat. I think it's nougat, uh, medium nougat. I have no idea how it's called. Um, but I made it white, and um, I think I'll have it stay this way because then I don't have to order the bricks that are in here. And I do have them in, in white and maybe in more colors, actually. So I was yeah. wondering um, how everybody likes it in white. So don't mind uh, strange colors of windows. They'll uh, be the right color. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, um, I try to build it uh, like this. I really like I really like it so far. Like obviously you can see that some of the parts are temporary, but I think that it does still look very much like what it's supposed to look like. So to me, I just sort of go, as soon as you pulled it up and as soon as I saw it on the screen, I just went, oh, sanctum sanctorum. And that's really the most important thing is that it's recognisable for the building that it's supposed to be. Um, and so I sort of go, if it's white or nougat, I don't think that that really, I, I, well, for me, it's not a huge deal. No. No, well, I think uh, this and the window, uh, it's a real one. I, um, I ordered at the Bricklink. Um, I think that really makes the set. Yeah, yeah. And, I... and then the form of, I think, the entrance and around it, and yeah, then the yeah. whole, the yeah. whole building as you see it. And that's where I just sort of go. I think as long as the design is is there, and I think that, like you said, the main main structure of it, the main design of it, having that sort of round window at the top, is is the most important part and that's where I just sort of go I think that then it, it it's it, yeah for me I don't think that then it really matters what the minor details are in and amongst it so no yeah. thinks yeah. uh, the coral pieces look very funky <laughs> Well, okay. I saved that for another set, Corne. <laughs> I saved that for another set. And um, I saw you uh, want me to have Rapunzel's tower built, but um, I don't have enough time to finish it. So I will save that up for another uh, another yeah. time. That's fine. That's enough. So, uh, yes, I think it's a great solution for my um, missed out set. So now I just have to collect a dragon in parts. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's the next challenge. That's the next challenge, the purple dragon. Yeah, yeah. But I'm sure you'll get there, um, you know. It, I think it's just one of those things where it takes time. And I think that that was the whole thing for me. Like when I was going through trying to, trying to put that set together, I think that the very last part that I thought that was the baby, the baby blue dragon. And every time I looked on the link, there was only like one or two of them and they were around about like $50 or $70 or something absolutely ridiculous. Oh, was like, ridiculous. Yeah, paying that for a baby dragon. <laughs> That's not going to happen. And then I think that it was a couple of months later, like it was a very long time after everything else was more or less finished, I had two one by 2 the tiles that I had dark color and not the light color or the light color and not the dark color and that baby blue dragon and um and they were they were the last two bits that I managed to find from that strange store in Slovakia or whatever and I got the baby blue dragon for like nine dollars okay and, oh it was so worth waiting so I just sort of went what well, it just meant you know, I had to be a bit more patient and <laughs> buy for my time, but you know, it's not going there, so that's all good. Yeah, and uh, well, with else is it's different, of course, because uh, the team uh, is all gone. But for French sets nowadays, um, if I missed out, uh, for instance, the cubes, uh, they won't come back, uh, but um, a lot of sets, um, they are bringing out again in actually a better version. Uh, yeah. Look 
for the hairdressers, uh, for instance, and uh, now there's going to be another shopping mall. Um, well, Cornet finally got the old one, <laughs> and now there's going to be a new one. And um, so they, they stuck to the team, and I really liked your review, um, that you reviewed all the... Um, uh, the old jungle sets next to the new jungle sets yeah, yeah. Um, and how you did that and then i thought well yeah so i don't have to buy everything because in a few years it will be there again yeah it seems to be that thing where it, it does come back round. And even, like, that's one of the things that Amy and I sort of chat about quite a bit is that they do sort of seem to stick to very similar things. Yeah. Yeah. Things like pet shops and vet builds seem to be really popular, you know, which is fine because I love animals, so I'm always going to enjoy those. I think that we've got so many horse stables as well, which, again, I don't mind because, you know, that's, they're really pretty and, and lovely to have. So I just sort of go, sometimes it is that thing where we just sort of go, you know, even when we were building up the swimming pools, you know, the fact that we've had swimming pools every few years as well just goes to sort of show that, you know, it just takes time. Um, but Lego was sort of bound to sort of do something similar in a few years' time. And I think we see that um, even with you know, some of the other themes as well. Like it seems like with the city sets is that quite often that's all police stations and fire stations, you know, I think that they had to wait a few years for hospitals. But, again, I just sort of go it is just a matter of, you know, it just sort of comes through with different different swings <laughs> or comes back around eventually. So, yeah. So we've got Andrea's cube there is that is that the one Remember? yeah do you yeah. see my uh do you see my screen moving or i'm waving my hand now not not your hand no. waving. Right? no it is stuck <laughs> oh really uh -oh. <laughs> um, I, was, I was building and i thought why am i doing to see it on the other screen but um it, it's frozen okay so, uh, I might just, let's just see if I go back to here and then. No, it's my fault because, I don't know, oh. I think my camera got too hot or so. It has 3% battery and it's on the charger the whole time. Oh, no. no. <laughs> well, I have a different solution. If you uh, can pop up the other camera. Oh, okay. Let's um, so put it here. I'll just I'll wait until I can see it in the in the back end. Um, that's still fuzzy in the back end for me as well. Yeah, and it's still black. While I am, well, already yep. moved. Uh, oh, I think everybody everything's got too hot here or something. Okay, you just, maybe my computer is telling me to stop. <laughs> oh no, your Are computer. You we have some. Uh, more Lego to build. <laughs> you can't stop. We have Lego to build. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Go back on. I have no idea what happened, why I can't use the other one. That's okay. No, that's a pity. That's okay. We've got um, Corne on here, though, saying that he thinks that he should get the new mall and combine his new mall and his old mall into a mega mall, which I think yeah. is a fantastic fantastic idea and then he's saying and then also include the fashion shop and the city park cafe so oh, that's definitely like, that sounds like a really nice mock <laughs> so you're um, welcome on the way yeah. <laughs> <Are you ready? laughs> oh, seriously i've totally gone blank this one is uh, has three percent battery and just died but it's not picking the other one okay, okay. What I'll, what I'll do, Mama's Bricks, is I'll just take you off the main screen for a bit and then maybe if you even want to mute yourself until you get yourself sorted out. Yes. And then I'll get you back in once you've got all that happening again. Yes, <laughs> so, <thanks. laughs> that's okay. <laughs> cool. So as, as always, there's a few little technical glitches going on behind the scenes, but that's okay. These things happen. <laughs> so
So we'll let them sort their stuff out behind the scenes, which hopefully will all be good because I was having so much fun chatting away to Mama's Bricks as well. And so hopefully we can see her progression with Andrea's Cube because that's such a lovely little build. I've um, really enjoyed building up those summer cubes. They are such lovely little builds. So, yeah. And then um, Brickish is saying, yes, um, we do definitely need to see a lovely massive mock, Cornet. That sounds like an awesome thing to do. Definitely something along those lines would be loads of fun. I am... Um, I, I like as you guys know I really enjoy like combining all the different um sets together and creating you know more of um yeah more of like an area or you know being able to put put sets all together and combine them all into one so yeah I definitely would love to be able to see something like that from the corner and um yeah it should be exciting to see what's happening with that and then oh yeah <laughs> and then um and then um yes it would be really nice to see like the amusement pier um loop as well combined into something uh, like that as well and thank you so much for um, sorting out my cobweb as well, <laughs> of course. So building up another little Quidditch uniform here as well. So this is kind of cool. So we've got two different Quidditch uniforms. We've got the yellow one down the bottom and then we've got this beautiful blue one, which of course will... Any Ravenclaws out there, aside from Cornet and myself, will be pleased to see that this does have like the little Ravenclaw crest on it as well. So that's super, super cool that we've managed to get that in here. So absolutely lovely. And then <laughs> Brick is just saying Cornet notices everything. Yes, that's why. He's my Lego son because he keeps an eye on me and makes sure that I don't go off on too many tangents. <laughs> and I might just move my camera up a little bit more since we've gone up to the next level. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> that's all he needs in his life. <laughs> yes, is the, is the Quidditch Ravenclaw uniform. <laughs> exactly. And then um, an escalator would be really nice, I agree. Um, a travel agent, that would also be quite interesting to have because that's something that we haven't had before. And um, I don't know quite how that would work. Well, I suppose that that could work because we have had, um, you know, the Heart, Heartland Universe, Heart Lake Universe sort of expand. Um, in different ways over time, such as with, you know, the marine sets and those sorts of things with, that we've got the islands and that sort of stuff. So that could definitely be a possibility and it would be something a bit different. A little fast food corner, yes. I think that that should definitely be in there as well because Lego does tend to build really nice little fast food corners and that sort of stuff. So, and we have seen them quite quite a bit in the past as well so yes oh my gosh Brickish you missed out on the Quidditch set oh that's no good I was <laughs> I don't know whether or not I should tell you because you might end up hating me for it but I actually managed to get two of those it's one of those weird things where they are still floating around here in Australia um, I don't know how or why that has happened, but yes, for some reason or another, we have ended up with a few of those. Um, I think that from the first wave, I think, was that one of the sets that was in the first wave of the new Harry Potter, um, is that that set is still available here. So, um, 
yeah, we've been very, very lucky with that. So although I have now completely run out of room to display to Quidditch sets. <laughs> you, oh, Corne now needs the Quidditch set since they won't have a Slytherin or a Gryffindor outfit in here. No, but I think that that's why it's nice that we've managed to get <laughs> a Hufflepuff and a Ravenclaw outfit in here. So that's been nice. A lovely little addition in this set. Very pleased with that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it sounds like the two of you are now going to wrangle for me to get you a Quidditch set each. <laughs> so, yes. I think that they might even be on um, discount as well at the moment too here. Um, I think that they were about $40 from memory. Um, but, yeah, I have still seen them on some of the shops. I think Kmart might still have them in stock. My favourite Kmart. You guys are all going to be sick and tired of hearing me talk about Kmart the whole time. But, yes, that is my favourite shop to get Lego at, though, here in Australia. Oops. Oops. More arches. Uh, I yes. think I can be back. I oh, think okay. I can be back. <laughs> cool. So which screen are you going to be back on? Uh, um, I think oh, you can see one. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, this one. <laughs> Here yeah. we go. Yay. Yes, you are back. Excellent. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I think uh, everything got a little bit overheated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I'm still on black, but uh, my, my husband was so kind to uh, lend me his phone, so now uh, um, we're using his phone. Yes, well, all the else cools down. Yeah, I know. I don't know why I'm telling you guys that it's on discount. <laughs> I don't know why that's helping. No, it's not. I'm sorry, Paul and I. <laughs> we, we got off on a bit of a weird tangent, Mama's Bricks, where some 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 reason or another I started to tell Brickish and, and Corne that the Quidditch set is still available in Australia and it's been on discount. <laughs> I, don't <know> why. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling people that. <laughs> it doesn't help. <laughs> no, it doesn't help. <laughs> but, yeah. No, because uh, otherwise um, if, um, um, if I could buy things from Australia and that would work, then uh, I would have had all the five uh, jungle cubes. <laughs> instead of just two yeah i i know that seems like you're not the only person to have told me that but again the jungle cubes are only available on the lego store so all the other cubes i've been able to get from kmart every time i've gone into kmart i've seen no, them but, there. Um, i've seen uh, ellie fee uh, post some pictures of few weeks ago i think uh that she saw them at i think probably k marked or something um just uh, just now like they weren't there when they came out and now they are just are there yeah so i think really that, and i think that that was um at one of our supermarkets like a food shopping supermarket called coles which oh, was cool. yeah, yeah which was even more strange because they've never had well I don't know, I don't really shop at Coles. That's not the supermarket that I use. But I'm sort of like, they're not really known to be selling Lego there. So it, that was very strange when I saw that from um, LEV as well. But I don't, I don't know. It is strange. I think they just shipped them all to Australia and now they have too many and we don't. <laughs> so Yeah, I know. It's quite weird. Right. I've, I've somehow ended up with <laughs> extra parts. I don't know where from. <laughs> Corner, you were keeping a close what, enough. What final part? <laughs> I've got two of these left over. Oh, uh, <laughs> they should be somewhere. <laughs> yeah, they would be somewhere, but I don't know where. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> Corne wasn't keeping a close enough eye on me. <laughs> I'm going to blame my poor Lego son for my shortcomings. 
Oh dear. This seems like right back at the beginning as well. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, I know exactly where they're from. Okay. I've got to put them to one side and come back to them heaps later because they actually need to go underneath this window. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And I'll go back and rebuild that tonight, but I'll do that later. Because <laughs> I'm now on to bag number nine, which is the last bag for this build. So I'd like to, the, to try and build most of this with you guys than to have to go back and just swap that out. <laughs> but at least now I know where they're from. So that's, that's important. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you can't sleep tonight because you're wondering where should those two go? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's the bit that I hate even more when I'm sort of like going, where did this even come from? Right. <laughs> Yes, oh, yes, um, Rogue, I actually did finally get my Lamaniac mug. Um, I think it got to me about three weeks ago. I was very surprised because the postman knocked on the door to let me know that there was a parcel, but I didn't need to sign for it. And I actually thought that it was going to be a Lego delivery. <laughs> when I went out and saw this little box, I went... That doesn't look like that's the right size for what I've ordered. And then I looked on it and it was just like it was from um, Streamlabs and I just went, oh, that must be my Lamaniac mug. <laughs> so <laughs> it was nice that it finally arrived as I knew that it probably would. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, we do. Um, yes, we do. And well, that's probably well, not, why. I not for Lego, that. though. They if, if they they don't sell Lego at supermarkets much. Well, now around um, uh, Saint Nicholas and Christmas, they will, but just the small small city sets and so. Yeah. No, it sounds like that's why we probably all get along so well. That's why I enjoy Dutch people so much because I do actually have a spreadsheet where I actually go and check online to find the cheapest Lego prices. <laughs> that's another oh. reason I swapped supermarkets as well because the supermarket I now go to is cheaper than the one that I used to. <laughs> so, yes, we've, there's a few things in common that we, we've come across. Well, we do have an expensive hobby, so if you want to have everything, collect everything in that hobby, we need to save things somewhere. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> I know. That's, that's what I sort of think as well, and that's where I just sort of go, I don't, then, then I don't mind having to get, pay the official Lego price every now and again for a set online. I do have um, um, a website that uh, even gives me updates every day on uh, Lego sets. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Price Watch. Um, it's a Price Watch um, site and it gives me updates every morning. And I talked with some guys and they said, well, I know the website, but I don't use it because then I buy too much. And I said, well, um, I love to have the best price so i need to be on uh, to know what is the best price yeah yeah um but yeah that's probably why i ended up with the two new uh, disney sets <laughs> this month <laughs> while i was not planning to buy them <laughs> oh no oh dear but again, I just sort of go, it is one of those things where I just, it is a fun hobby and, you know, again, if it's something that we enjoy doing, then we shouldn't be too hard on ourselves. 
And I know that one of the things that we do say quite often in the Lego community is that it is an expensive hobby, but I think that a lot of adult hobbies can actually be quite expensive anyway. You know, dirt biking, mountain biking, I think are all sort of quite expensive hobbies. One of my friends does, um, she does like Ironman marathons. And I know that for her to get her, you know, bike and trainers and workout gear and all of that sort of stuff is that all of that sort of an expensive hobby as well so you know um, but I think that getting enjoyment from stuff is also healthy <laughs> um, something it is actually pretty important for your mental health yeah exactly and it's something that people need to do is that we do need to have those things that give us pleasure and enjoyment and again, I just think so for me, um, you know, being part of the Lego community is also um, where I get to enjoy my hobby and share it. You know, I know that I've said a few times before that <laughs> most of my family has banned me from talking about Lego <laughs> because it's not their thing. Which is um, but yeah, I just think it is then one of those things that I just get to chat away to all of you guys about Lego and we all love it. <laughs> exactly. And we all totally understand it, everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Hey, look um, who joined in. Yeah, Angela's in the chat. Oh, that's lovely. Hi, hey, Angela. Hope you're feeling okay. Um, don't worry about not being Hi. able to us today. We're powering on, <laughs> enjoying our Lego building, aren't we, Mother's Bricks? <laughs> we are, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. So and then they've been chatting about teaching because um, Angela is an assistant teacher for children with special needs. So, yeah, she's fantastic at what she does. And so... Yeah, exactly, Lego Lamania. That's the other thing. You know, we're all adults. We can all make informed decisions about how much we decide to spend or not spend and, you know, what Lego we want. And I think that, you know, I am Jacob from the Brick Bakery is quite a good example of that where he sort of put parameters around trying his best to have mostly second-hand sets and second-hand Lego and um, he yeah. just builds his mocks with, with that. And um, and I just sort of go, yeah, that's cool too. So, yeah. And I think that that's the other thing. Like I have gotten secondhand Lego sets before and I've spoken about that in the past and there's still some secondhand Lego sets that I'm keeping an eye out for as well that I'd like to add to my collection at some stage. Um, yeah. So very true. Um, how much longer will we be on for? Um, this is my last bag, <laughs> so however long this takes me to build <laughs> and who knows how long that's going to take for me to do. Since I was at um, Smiles and Dan's wedding yesterday, so I think I'm going a little bit slower than what I normally do today, but it's also been nice chatting a bit more tonight as well. So, yeah. Yes, well, just blame me. That's fine. Yeah. And then <laughs> I, mean, I get something built now because I don't have to read all the comments. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm typing half of the time because um, I'm not really a fast typer, especially not in English. And yeah. uh, I, I, I don't get any builds done if I watch your stream because I'm just typing to chatting to everybody. And I can just talk when I read something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think that's the nice thing about doing the live like being on the live stream like you get to chat um and then jezza from rogue transformation says that um, lego provides him with a really good medium for expressing his creativity and he gives him great satisfaction to spend however long he wants to perfect his creations according to his personal taste yeah, yeah. that's an absolutely beautiful way of putting that jezza i um I think that one of the things that I really love about Lego is having something physical and tangible in front of me that I've actually created. So a lot of my work is either with people, having conversations with people, 
or it's writing reports or compiling data, which is all done on a laptop now. So a lot of the time I just sort of come away at the end of the day and there's nothing physical to actually show for the work that I've done. <laughs> I don't get to say, look at the house I built or look at the book that I wrote or anything like that. It's it's just sort of, you know, um, out there in the in the ether, in the interwebs and all of that sort of stuff, but not actually tangible in front of me. And I think that that's why I do really enjoy you know, Lego, because then that is something that I get to see that I've sort of created. And um, and I also think that a lot of the time with a lot of the work that we do as adults and possibly even as, well, you know, to a certain extent as teens as well, is that a lot of that stuff isn't always focused on creativity either. And I think that that's also a really nice thing to try and you know, maintain in our lives as well is that, you know, human beings are designed to be creative. And so then it's nice to balance that out with with our day-to-day -day lives and work and all of those sorts of things is them being able to express ourselves creatively. So well put, Jezza. That's very nice um, to see there. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Angela, yes, if you want to pop in, definitely pop in and join. And when I see you pop up in the back end, I'll just figure out how to add you. <laughs> oh, dear. And then Corne saying, if you can't make it in this one, maybe the next one. So that's fine. Whenever you want to join in, Angela, that's cool. Yeah, and then Corne saying, um, Lego gives him the ability to customise stuff. So even you know, actual the dots boxes is what, um, you know, Corne quite often uh, customises. And I think that that's fantastic. And even, you know, all your miniature versions of things as well, Corne, have been really fantastic, like doing like the little mini CMF series and the mini, um, you know, pineapple thing from the dots for mini dolls and all of those sorts of things. I just sort of go all of that. All of those ideas are so creative and, um, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I think uh, Corne is really creative in um, in the really the tiny work and mm -hmm. um, personalize yeah. the things with, um, with painting and making things himself because yes. we, we are adults. We have like, plenty of money and still food to eat, <laughs> so we just buy it. But I, I really like and um, I admire the, the things that you make that are so tiny and so small um, and still really recognizable and useful and to see. And so I really right. like that about you. And um, <laughs> Rogue Transformations, um, I got to your channel, I don't know, a while back, I think one and a half years or something. Um, when you were building the really the big uh, Star Wars display thing, where you lead all the white pieces for, I forgot the name. I'm really bad at names and in special in Star Wars name. Oh, the Oh no, I think that that's um the Lego room, Mark from the Lego. Yeah, room. Oh, sorry, you're right. Yeah, did the did the Hoth mark. Um, oh, the a lot of oh yes, yeah, sorry. Oh, I totally mixed them up. No, that's okay. I do follow Rogue, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rogue does a lot of, like, the um, the wasteland apocalypse, post-apocalyptic stuff, which is all sort of... Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Very, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and, yeah, fantastic, fantastic Lego designs. But, um, oops. Yeah, we're really creative um, using all parts for totally different things because I'm more of a set builder and I uh, I do mock, but I'm more of a set builder. Yeah. And um, because people that know I'm into Lego said, oh, Lego Masters, you should join. And then I thought, no, I should not join because <laughs> I'm not good enough. <laughs> I build sets and it doesn't matter how long it takes. And um, if I make a mock, it will take ages to be finished. Um, and so, but um, yeah, um, 
I, I really love to be on the internet and Instagram and YouTube to see uh, what other people build and get ideas out of it. Yes, agree. And, uh, and the community is just really, really nice. Everybody's kind to each other. And yes, yeah. agree. Yeah, yeah. I I completely agree with that as well. I um when the first Lego Masters session came out here in Australia, the first version of that TV show here in Australia, I had a lot of people say, you should go on that, you should go on that. And I was just like, I do enjoy making mocks and primarily modifying existing sets. But I just sort of went, I'm so slow when it comes to building them. <laughs> it takes me ages to sort of figure out exactly how I want it to look. And I think part of that does come down to not having the parts available, which wouldn't be so much of an issue on Lego Masters. But the other part of it is that I just like to sit and look at my design for a while and think, oh, no, that doesn't quite look right to me or how would I be able to do this a bit differently or, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> it's just like I don't think that the Lego Masters would be my show at all. And I think the time pressure of having to try and build something would just see me crumble under that type of pressure. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. We, we're going to get um, a kids version uh, next year. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Uh, but I think it's it's not a series, but just one um, episode. Oh, okay. And yeah. Uh, my oldest daughter said, oh, wow, that's fantastic. I want to join. And I said, well, you are seven by then, so that's a possibility. Who's going to be your building mate? You are a mama. And I said, well, there's a slightly problem. You have to have another child to join you. And then she was like my sister. And I said, no, she's four. She's not allowed to. So... Um, uh, and then she couldn't get on a friend to that she thought that would be a great builder. So um, I said, well, I have a plan. Let's try to build uh, more of your own builds and just yep. let your fantasy go and build and build and not just the sets. And then we'll see next year because then you will be eight and maybe they'll do it again. Um, so um, I think that's that's good for her, and she got really enthusiastic. So uh, we're definitely going to watch. But um, yeah, I, I think that's better for her as well. Just watch and see um, what the program is all about. Yep. Uh, then just join in the first round because you have no idea what you get yourself into. <laughs> <laughs> Lego Lamaniac saying I would have done okay in the finale where we get a week to build. Oh, I don't even know about that, Lamaniac. <laughs> there are really big builds. <laughs> I don't think that that would even be enough time. <laughs> and I think, um, yeah, that sounds like such a lovely idea for your daughter. It might even be things like, you know, whatever concept or idea they build on the show is to do your own version of that at home like I just sort of go so that you almost sort of do a bit of a practice for the show and um, I think that the other thing that's been really nice to see particularly on Instagram is where they've done like little challenges where they say you know let's build a you know use a 16 by 16 plate to build like a habitat for your favorite animal or whatever it happens to be. And I sort of go, those, those sorts of builds are really cool fun as well. So. Um, yeah. For kids. I prefer seeing uh, Jacob uh, blindness building something. And Jacob stream. And then just. Oh, um, oh my God. That's the funniest thing. And then that, see the rebuild and think, uh-huh, sure. <laughs> that puzzle box, I still laugh at Jacob's puzzle box. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah, that was fantastic. And then um, Rogue Transformations is saying that he's got another video coming out soon about his latest cyberpunk build, which is called Mother or M-O-T-H-E-R, because it's the mother of all builds. <laughs> so, 
So that's going to be really exciting when you post that video, Jeremy. I know that a yeah, lot of us... I'm looking forward to that. Oh, we're looking forward to seeing the progress on that and your ideas and concepts because you always do a lot of planning behind the scenes. So that's good. Oh, it looks like Angela's popping in here as well. So let's add her to the stream and see what happens. Hi there. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, guys. <laughs> and Gio is there as well. Hey. Hi. Um, I just woke up. But I made sure to get on here when I could. Dude, that's okay. <laughs> okay, let me figure out how to do all this stuff. So yeah, I'm still learning as well. <laughs> there we go. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I don't know. I oh, know that's me, big. <laughs> Am I right side like, up? Um, oh, hang on. I'm Let's... Off, off, um... I'll pop uh, off and you can use uh, uh, her spot for me if that's easier. Oh, um, no, we don't have to do that. I'll just <laughs> just keep clicking buttons. We might go with that that screen for now. I know that that's not the best photo for you, Mama's Bricks, but that's all right for now, I think. No, that's okay. Well, um, um, I'm popping out anyway because it's uh, uh, 5 o'clock and I need to cook some dinner. Okay, yeah. Um, Oh, uh, now they, uh, downstairs, they are watching me on the big television, so I should oh. go here. <laughs> Hi, Mama's Briggs. Hi, good to see you. How are you? Good to see you, too. I'm going to have my assistant set up my tripod mom momentarily. I should have done that before I popped in, but hey. <laughs> that's okay. I tend to do things backwards, so that's all right. Yeah, no, it doesn't you matter. Yeah, we're in the right place then. <laughs> you're totally fine. We accept everything. Everybody's really glad that you're on. Yes, exactly. Giovanni, can you please come set up the tripod for me? Let's see. <laughs> if I can figure Lego Girls out. here. Hi, Lego Girl. It's so lovely that you've been able to join us. <laughs> and then, <laughs> for some reason, Jacob. Um, I would like love to. I love to thank you for uh, having me on. It, it was an honor to be here <laughs> on my first stream, um, and uh, I just I love to join in another time um, and um, enjoy finishing the rest of the building. It's almost finished, I see. Yeah, it's getting there definitely. It was absolutely so, lovely to have you on the stream, and you're welcome back anytime. Just let me know when when you're available and I'll send you through the link and all of that stuff. So, yeah, yeah. it's been perfect. Pleasure having someone to chat to. <laughs> I really, I really, really, really enjoyed it. You're typing. <laughs> yes, exactly. So that was a lot of fun. And everybody in the chat, um, I say bye and see you next time, uh, next week, um, maybe in the chat. But then we're at, um, hopefully, all through COVID, uh, we're on a small holiday weekend, so I'm not sure the internet is fine enough to join in. That's okay. Uh, but I'll uh, I'll check my phone uh, to see it, and otherwise I'll watch it afterwards. Yes, exactly. Thanks so okay. much. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Ruth, how is my angle? Oh, it's fantastic. Lego and all that good stuff. Yep, yep, we can. Oh, good. Oh, so we've got a Star Wars. Is this a Star Wars set? Yes, it's the um the Lego brick sketch of a stormtrooper. So it's like a mini mosaic. Oh, cool. Oh, excellent. Perfect. <laughs> excellent. I'm so glad that you've been able to join us. That's lovely. Yesterday at Legoland. Yes, I saw that you ended up being able to go there and you were all in costumes and everything. I did. I'll be right back. I gotta get some. No, that's cool. All good. <laughs> I'll just squash on the roof here. Hi, Gio. <laughs> There's Giovanni. I'm building this baby right now. And Giovanni's building this a city set. 
Oops, and Pucky's barking. <laughs> there you go, Corne. I know that you always like to hear Pucky barking, so there's Pucky. <laughs> So I was, I was saying, um, I was saying earlier that um, every time Pucky hears someone come through, like on speakerphone or through like video phone or whatever, he thinks that there must be ghosts in the house or something. <laughs> so he's now made that assumption once again. trying to be really legit get this looking nice i hope i'm not disturbing anyone no that's okay, okay. <laughs> just you might need to just speak super loud for the microphone so that we can hear you <laughs> oh okay there i turned my volume up that might help yeah cool is it a little louder now is it better i think it seems to be a bit better <laughs> okay yeah, we'll, we'll try and figure it out for you guys in the chat so that we can hear what Angela's saying. And it might just need to be that she needs to speak in her classroom volume <laughs> rather than in her conversational volume. Yes, the volume I use when Giovanni's in trouble. Yes, <laughs> the, the mama's volume, yes. <laughs> not, not the friendly volume. <laughs> no. But just keep letting us know in the chat if there's anything that we can do. But I think that once again, it might just be um, a little bit, a little bit creative, as per usual with my streaming. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to sign on to my laptop too at the same time, so I can actually read comments at the same time. Oh, okay, yeah, that's cool. Yes, it does seem like Pucky is very enthusiastic about Giovanni's set. <laughs> It, it woke him up. All right, let's see here. You guys can watch Ruth do fun stuff while I try and figure this out. <laughs> yes. Oh, here. We'll put, here's a dog. Since everybody knows Pucky, here is Frito. Frito. Her name is Frito. Frito. <laughs> Yes, we, we love having our pets on stream. So there we go. <laughs> okay, we'll do our best, guys, with, with the volume thing. Um, but I don't think that either of us have microphones, so you might just have to be patient with us while we, <laughs> while we figure that out. Yeah. Cool. So it's very... Um, it's nice that I've been able to have not one but two guests this week. So hopefully, oh, that's okay. Um, that's okay, Jezza. <laughs> it's been lovely to have you in the stream and we're looking forward to seeing your um, upcoming video. So that's going to be super fantastic. Um, I think I should be back to doing my normal Saturday evening streams in the future. It was primarily because of um, Smiles and Dan's wedding this week that I decided to stream on a Sunday. Um, yeah, but that's all good. So hopefully next week if you're around, Jeremy, feel free to stop by and say hello. It's always nice having you in the chat and have a lovely week, mate. <laughs> and then this is the difference between <laughs> cats and dogs. <laughs> But you have to just remember, most of the time when I'm streaming, Pucky is kind of just on the sofa or on his little footstool being asleep. <laughs> so he doesn't pay that much attention to me um, either. And at the moment, he's just gone outside and he's just doing his little doggy patrol outside. Um, oh. Ruth is never going to invite me again. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all fine, honestly. Um, I've been very, very blessed in my streaming universe <laughs> by having lots of people that can give me useful instructions about how to stream properly. And I think Lego Maniac knows exactly who I'm talking about. 
<laughs> since he was the first person that I ever streamed with. <laughs> Um, and I am not that great with figuring out <laughs> the technicalities of streaming <laughs> still. So just take your time, mate. It's all good. Okay. I think I'm getting there. Yeah. Fantastic. Can you hear me a little better? I tried to get the camera closer. Yes. Yes. I, I can hear you a little better. You okay. still might need to just talk up a little bit louder than okay. normal <laughs> Rickish is saying the struggle is real <laughs> the struggle is way too real <laughs> so true you know i do have a mic i actually do have a mic i'm gonna have giovanni go get it and see if that helps yeah <laughs> giovanni's being a very useful assistant yes did you hear what he said? He said, and I'm trying to build Lego down here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm all settled in. I will just talk loud. Yes, cool. And then we'll see. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> Brick is just saying, answer is me when I try and set up to make a video. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Know I was at Legoland yesterday and I was exhausted and I didn't set anything up last night, so this is why you're seeing this right now. But I think that you know this is this is the nice side of live streaming because it's not supposed to be perfect, it's meant to be <laughs> shambolic. <laughs> right? It was perfect anyways. Okay, so I'm gonna plug my mic in so you guys can tell me pretty soon if it's better. Yeah, oh, so keep an ear out, guys. And this goes right. And I'm building building away with my little thing. And with with these windows, we do actually get like newspaper print in the windows right up the top of our build, and these are actually printed. So they're not stickers that go on these windows. That's actually printed. And in the instructions, they've even said for us to place them like upside down next to each other so that then they look a little bit different. So, oh, you can't see that. Oh, here. Giovanni, I need your help. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yes. <laughs> That's much better. <laughs> now everyone can see my right. No, you've muted yourself. Oh, okay. We've lost <laughs> temporarily lost Angela. Never mind. <laughs> oh, no, we have completely lost Angela now. She's disconnected from the stream. We'll just wait until she manages to sort out her bits and pieces behind the scenes and hopefully she can jump back in. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> So those windows also came in the Stranger Phil set, did they? That's another set that I never got hold of. So um, I don't really know. <laughs> yeah, we went from loud and clear to whoop, she's gone. <laughs> to have a bit of a laugh. <laughs> exactly. I'll just see if I can send her a message on Instagram just to say. <laughs> Jump back in when you can. There we go. And we'll see whether or not she reconnects in. Um, oh, there's my window. I almost um, <laughs> forgot where I put it then. Okay, one last little window from the top here. 
Oh no, <laughs> Corne's laptop's dying too. Well, we probably won't be on for much, too much longer. We'll have a, we'll see if we can try and have a quick chat to Ange because that would be absolutely lovely to be able to do that. And then um, we'll see how we go. <laughs> so yes. Cool. So I'm just finishing off these little roof pieces as well. Um, and Pucky settled down again, which is nice. He's back to lying down, chilling out. And it was quite funny last night. We were talking about our pets with some of the other people that we sort of met at the wedding. And... Um, <laughs> We were comparing cats and dogs and how they do have like different energy and generally sort of quite different personality types and that sort of thing. But I always say that I do think that Pucky does have like a bit of feline en energy. Here we go. Angela looks like that. <laughs> She's back. <laughs> and Corne's got his charger out. At Angela back into the stream. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. Okay. <laughs> Can you hear me, Ruth? Yes, I can. Loud and clear. It's beautiful. Just before you dropped out, everyone was saying that that sound was really good too. Oh, you so know what's funny that was a is if I, if I plug the mic in, then I can't hear you guys. Oh, no. I know. <laughs> so it's so one like, of our Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, well, we'll have it figured out one day. Yes, yes. One day we'll work it out. That's okay, though. Your volume now, shit, seems to be quite good. Oh, is it better? Yeah. yeah oh. Better than to start with. Not, not as good as with the mic, but I think that we should be able to power on. <laughs> good. Okay. So and, they are, and they are saying in the chat that they can hear you very well, so that's good. Okay, good. Hi, everybody. I'm sorry I'm a little bit frazzled. That's, That's so cool. Yes. I'm a frazzled lady. <laughs> All good. All if good. If I'm not frazzled, then that's when you know something is wrong with me. <laughs> exactly. And um, and you were at Legoland yesterday, so no wonder you're feeling exhausted. And I was telling everyone in the stream that um, I was at a friend's wedding yesterday, so I'm a bit exhausted as well. But um, they're just here to chat about Lego and life and everything, so it's all fun. Yeah. You know. So is, has anybody gotten any of these yet? I haven't gotten any of those yet. But, yeah, definitely let, let us know in the stream if anybody else has. Yeah. I can't read anything, so you just let me know what people are saying, Ruth. Exactly, yes. Um, we've got Corne saying, hi, Ange, love that you're here and it's great to finally see you. And then the question that we've got in the chat as well is, what Harry, Harry Potter character would you be if you could choose any Harry Potter character? At the moment, I would be Luna Lovegood. <laughs> <laughs> but if I wasn't so quirky right now I would be hmm let me think I know it's a tough one isn't it it is because I don't know if I want to be a student or if I want to be a professor oh yes I want to be evil or good yet I have my days of both yes exactly I should be Hermione Oh, he said because I'm smart and Hermione's smart. I'm Hermione. Yeah, yeah. I love Hermione. I think my two, the two characters that I would probably choose between would either be Hermione or Luna Lovegood, which I think is why we're like <laughs> Lego mates <laughs> because we've got similar quirky energy. <laughs> This is why Ruth and I are great friends because we're the same people. Yeah, we've definitely got. Bodies. Yeah, we've definitely got the same energy going on for sure. 
Um, but then I think that possibly for a teacher, I think the teacher that I would most like, and and I, well, before we move on to teachers, I do think that um, I think that Hermione is really smart. I think that that's a really nice character trait for her. I also think that she works very hard, so she was always very focused on her studies. I think that she's a really nice um, friend, but I think that Luna is as well. Yeah. Um, and then the other things that I always sort of quite liked was um, the fact that Hermione would punch Draco in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and I've always loved a time turner. If I could get any bit of Harry Potter merchandise, I would love to get a time turner necklace. <laughs> that would be my dream <laughs> jewellery, which is very strange because I don't really wear jewellery <laughs> in the real world, but I think that would be the exception, would be a time turner. But I've always liked Luna and the fact that she is quite quirky and that she's happy being herself and being true to who she is. Um, I think that nice as well and what about you guys in the chat you have to answer as well if you could be any Harry Potter characters who you'd be and I think for a teacher the teacher that I think is a really interesting character was McGonagall so um yeah I think that that would be really interesting I've always liked her pointy witch hat with the deer stalker ears that she wore to the Quidditch game <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sort of like going, I think that um, that would be kind of cool. Um, but so probably. How far are you on Diagon Alley, by the way? This is book number two, and this is the last bag for book number two. So once I've built these pieces, then this is everything done for today. And but how many books are there? Four. So I'm halfway. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And I think in the first in the first build, in the first book, we had five bags, and in this one we only had four. So this okay. build is a little bit more simplistic, but I have gone I've gone astray in a couple of places. <laughs> so <laughs> it's probably hard to build and chat and read and talk all at the same time. I bet yeah. I would mess up. Yeah, so I've I've missed a couple of parts down here, which I'll rebuild at some stage or another, probably during the week. Um, <laughs> it's fine, that's, and then that's still got things backwards. Yeah, well, you know that's okay. And then this this whole section in here still doesn't quite look right to me at all either. Um, it's giving me very weird energy. And is that how they meant for it to be built? I don't know. It seemed like it, but I don't, it doesn't seem, like this bit just doesn't seem secure enough. Huh. Like, so I don't know whether or not I've gone astray with these bits, like they need to be pushed in closer or something. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, man. It, and it doesn't it's seem secure hard. enough. Either. <laughs> but anyway, it's it's all fine. <laughs> It'll get there in the end. Yeah, at, at one point or another. <laughs> Where's good old Pucky right now, laying next to you on the ground? Yeah, he's just lying on the floor just behind behind the camera. Aww. So he's all stretched out. Was Robin in this morning and I missed him or no? Yes, he did pop in for a little bit, but he's had a bit of a COVID scare. So he's going to have to go in for a test, and it sounded like he was quite concerned as well, which, um, you know, it's it's not like uh, Robin to take things, like it's not like Robin to be dramatic about things. So if he's concerned, he's obviously concerned for a valid reason. So um, and obviously he's probably even more concerned um if he does have it as to how that might impact on Ezra yeah exactly that's scary so, yeah yeah and I earlier this week 
mum was saying that um, she was speaking to my sister because my sister lives in the UK as well. Um, I don't think that my, well, I think that my sister and Robin happen to live quite close to each other as far as the UK is concerned. Um, and my sister was saying that um, she works as an assistant teacher as well at a high school. Uh-huh. And, um, and she was saying, like, all the teachers have been given very specific instructions around how close they can be to students, how they need to behave, what they need to do and all of this sort of thing. But wow. <laughs> the teacher's assistants have been given the same support. So the teacher's assistants are the ones that are having to go over to the, all the students and the teachers are like, you can't come anywhere near me. And it's just sort of Claire was saying that it's really backwards and yeah. really quite concerning. And then there's been like other high schools that have opened where they've just sort of gone, the students all stay in the same classroom. So the students all get assigned a classroom. That's the only classroom that they're in with, you know, they try and have the students arrive at different times so that then the different year groups get to move through at different times. But apparently in the school that my sister works at, everyone's still mingling around all at the same time. So all the students are the ones swapping classrooms, which then obviously means that more people are more likely to be breathing on top of each other, which is really concerning. Well, so our still aren't open yet here. Yeah. So I'm happy which, about that. I'm. I don't want yeah. to go back too soon. No, it's better off staying at home for longer than what we need to to be safe. Yes. So yeah. And then um, Corne is saying that he thinks that he would be Harry because he looks a lot like Harry. Oh, do you, yeah. Corne? Oh. Yeah. I also think that you've got other traits that Harry Potter has as well, Corne. So I think that that's a very good fit for you. How I think that Corne is 17. Yeah, and he's just started uni. Well, I think he's still 17. <laughs> I think he's turning 18 soon. Wow. So, yeah. And he's just started uni, and so he's going to uni to do teaching, which is really nice. I think the two of you were talking about that a little bit earlier. Yeah. In, in nice yeah. How do so, you? Yeah. How do you- how are you able to read the um, the chat? Because it doesn't show the chat. It only shows the highlighted chat. Oh, okay. What, well, what are you streaming? I, I don't know why I'm asking you any questions. Are you streaming on your phone? Yes. Is that why? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know because I've not ever streamed on my phone. Um, when I'm, my- I'm on my laptop, but then this is a webcam. <laughs> So my laptop faces me in this direction and then I've pointed my webcam out this way. Oh, that's the start of the little, yeah. It is. As you can see, the colourful stuff is probably going to go underneath and now I'm starting to put white stuff over it to make. But I like, I really like it when Lego does that and they add in all the coloured parts underneath. Yes. It makes it a lot easier to sort of build and find the parts that you need. But I also think that it's really funny. Like one of my favourite things about the Steamboat Willie set um, was <laughs> that it's all black and white on the outside and all grey and on the inside it's like a rainbow. It's just got all coloured bricks on the inside, which is gorgeous. <laughs> you know, that's one set I need to get still. I need yeah. it. I like that word need, not need want. It. Not want, no, it's not a want. It's definitely a need. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah. and then Corne is saying that on his laptop he has the chat next to the video, which is how I see it from the from the back end as well. Like from the behind the scenes. But that's okay. I really we'll like, I really hey? like the link that you sent me though that was really easy just to click the link and it brought me to you it asked me a couple of questions and then brought me straight to you oh cool oh that's good to know <laughs> lego yeah, maniac really easy trained, trained me up in that <laughs> oh good <laughs> yeah hmm. 
And I think it is one of those things that I found it's become a lot easier to, to stream now that I've been doing it for a little while. So I think much like everything, you just learn by doing and you sort of just get used to doing it. I think I figured something out here. Oh, cool. Oh, Amy's back as well. Welcome back, Amy. It's lovely to have you back. We've got Angela on video now as well. So um, Mama's Bricks had to go because it was getting time for her dinner time, I think, and she had to organise everything for that. But Angela's here. We are having a few technical difficulties with Angela, but that's okay. We don't mind powering through. <laughs> We're working it out. Yeah, exactly. Learn by doing. It's all good. I yeah, think I everyone, to... <laughs> everyone here is a really lovely group of people anyway. So they they put up they put up with a lot in order to chat about Lego. Oh, and Brickish is back as well. That's good timing, guys. <laughs> Welcome back, what? Brickish. As well. <laughs> Geo just built this while we were live streaming. Oh, <laughs> that was quick, Geo. <laughs> <laughs> what? He bought two of these same exact vehicles at Legoland yesterday. Oh my gosh. I know. He loves vehicles so much. Yeah. The, well, yeah. <laughs> He's a boy. Boys like yeah. their little vehicles. I oh, know. I think. Um... Quite often when I'm in with more of the, the boys in different streams as well is that they end up talking about all their speed racer um, sets and all of that sort of thing too. So um, I don't, but I don't mind. You want to say hello to. Ah, oh, hello. <laughs> She's so hello. cute. Thank you. <laughs> so cute. And then... Um, now that we've got Amy and Brickish back, Corne saying the squad is getting back together. Yes. All the regulars oh, are, are someone else on live with us now too. No, oh no, he just meant in, in the chat, not on the screen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hi everybody, I'm Angela. I'm sure you're wondering where I came yes. from. We do have our own channel. It's called Geo the Jedi. Yeah. But we've been uh, slacker YouTubers lately. We haven't made a video since like February because they took our comments away and it's just not the same, guys. Yeah. yeah. It is, I, I think that that's been a big thing. You're not the only people to sort of say that the comments were really important to you. Um, well, you know, because I think that particularly with what we do is, you know, like what we were saying earlier, um, is that it's our hobby and we do it because we enjoy it, but it's also really nice to be able to talk about, um, you know, our hobby and our enjoyment of Lego with other people. And if we can't discuss that, then it makes things a bit trickier. <clears throat> but you do take lots of really fantastic Lego photos on Instagram. So I think that most of us know you over from over on Instagram. Thank you. Uh oh, I think I've messed up somewhere. Oh, wait. Oh. No, I haven't. I take that back. <laughs> That's I okay. Just put a brick in the wrong spot real fast. And then I just, I don't know if you guys caught that, but did you guys just see a brick go flying towards the camera? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I missed that. I but quite a brick. <laughs> but quite often that happens with me as well. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, I'm a brick flinger. Yeah. But the nice Lego Lemaniacs just said, no worries, Ruth, we don't expect professionality, we just expect Ruth. <laughs> and now you guys have got Ruth and Angela, <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> and then Amy was... Not... Go ahead, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. I was going to say we're not professional tv broadcasters are we no no it's it's a it's a struggle but you know <laughs> that's okay and then amy said that she had to um 
She left the chat earlier because there was a TV show about Legoland. <laughs> so I love the fact that Amy was watching a live stream about Lego and then stopped to go and watch a TV show about Legoland and then comes back to a live stream about Lego. <laughs> and then in the chat, everyone's going, that's a very good reason to leave the stream for a little bit. Exactly. <laughs> And coincidentally, I was just at Legoland yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Amy's saying, oh, no, she was actually seeing family. <laughs> the show was because they were talking about Legoland. <laughs> and then Corne uh, said that her comments back on and he doesn't know how she did it. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. I can definitely see the outline now. Like it. Yeah. This was actually yeah. a gift from lady that we went to Legoland with yesterday. Well, that's so nice. I know that's she brought me little the little Stormtrooper thing. one and she brought Geo uh Joker one. Oh cool. Yeah. That's really cool. I, I think maybe <laughs> Um, I think, Corne, maybe the reason why LEV has her comments back on is because she doesn't actually have um, kids on her videos. And I think one of the challenges that Angela has is because it's all about Angela and Geo building Leo, Lego together and looking for Lego together and hanging out together. And because Geo is still under 13, is that that's, I think, one of the reasons why Angela lost her comments. So that might be. Let me tell you guys, everybody asked me, well, haven't you tried turning them back on? I have the ability to turn them back on, but literally within five seconds, YouTube robots have them turned immediately back off. Yeah. Yeah. And again, I just sort of go, I can understand the reasons for that. Um, and I yeah. think that you um, looking after our kids and looking after our young people is super important. Um, but again, I just sort of go, I also think that it's a shame when YouTube doesn't recognise that there is, um, you know, um, an adult that's actually involved in, in the channel and in the comments and Geo is very much separate from all of that stuff. And one of my favourite comments has come up on screen now from Dan saying that if he doesn't shave for long enough, he gets called Hagrid. <laughs> so we've got Harry, we've got Hermione, we've got Hagrid, we've got Luna. <laughs> we've got the whole, whole crew popping up. Yeah, we've got the whole gang. And then Corne saying to Dan, take that as a compliment since Hagrid is one of the best Harry Potter characters. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and Hagrid is such a lovely person. So, yeah. I love yeah. Hagrid. He is one of my favourite characters. Him and Darby. Oh, oh yeah. Darby is also super kind as well, isn't he? Such a lovely character. And I think it's really cried a long time over Dobby dying. Yeah. Yeah. I I think I it's he was more yeah. a bigger part of the movies too. Yeah, I think that that was always sort of like the interesting thing. And that's what I'm starting to realize. Well, I think much like many books it's very hard to condense a book of any sort of size into a film because quite often you can't translate everything into a book into a film but then in saying that sometimes it's difficult to, to then figure those sorts of things out like I know that whenever I've watched any of the behind the scenes stuff to do with Lord of the Rings or with The Hobbit Peter Jackson has said that sometimes the author goes into a lot of detail about what something looks like or how someone is dressed or, you know, what they look like, which translate very quickly on screen because you just go, that's what they look like. So you don't need a five-page description about who they are and what they look like because you can see that in a second as soon as they appear. But then there's other things where I think he sort of said, 
that the Battle of Fi the Five Armies at the end of The Hobbit wow. is only a very, very short section of the whole book. <laughs> it's like only a paragraph or so. Yet in the film you can't really go, here's a, here's a war between five armies and, and we're done with that now. So there's some things where I think you have to stretch it out more and there's other things where you have to, like, condense it down. Um, yeah. And I haven't read all the books, so but I'm slowly getting through, so slowly getting through them all. But I definitely can see that um, whenever I've watched any of the behind-the-scenes stuff to do with Harry Potter films, I know that they've sort of made comments where they've gone, there were other books that they had actually considered splitting into two movies, particularly the longer books, they had always sort of discussed whether or not they should have been two movies as well. So um, I think they had to make a few choices with different things. Um, and I do I think that... Those hey? movies, I've never watched them. The Harry Potter movies? No, the um, Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit. Oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> I need yeah. to, right? I think that you would probably enjoy them. Um, okay. I think I think with the Hobbit movies, you've got to keep in mind that that was a book more for children. It they oh. it does have a little bit of adult themes, but it is supposed to be more of a kids' book. But I enjoyed okay. the films. But the Lord of the Rings was more a book written for adults and so that has a bit more adult themes. And I also think that it was just really interesting to know, you know, how Peter Jackson put all of those films together. And there was a lot less CGI that was used in the first three films than in The Hobbit. Um, and yeah. so I think for me that the realness of having models and the realness of having miniature scale models and those sorts of things just for me was much more enjoyable to watch. Oh, <laughs> Corne oh here we go. Corne said he's never seen Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit movies and Brickish is also saying that they've never seen Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit either. <laughs> we have a lot of things in common, Corne. Yeah, yeah. And then Amy Collins is saying same thing with Narnia. I think I have seen some of the Narnia films but only on television. And um, I, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's looking good. <laughs> yeah, I'm building some sort of stand in the back right now. Oh, cool. And then Dan's just come back with a fantastic comment saying that's why to this day he still calls every dog he meets Fluffy. <laughs> as, long as, as long as every dog you meet doesn't have three heads, then we're fine with that, Dan. <laughs> uh -huh. These dogs won't leave me alone. They're both at my feet jumping to get up on me. How am I to yeah. deal with two chihuahuas on my Lego? <laughs> I'm being oh. attacked by the chihuahua. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> it's all good. Oh. And then, oh, is there any... Oh, here we go. Lego Lemaniac is saying the Lord of the Rings trilogy is his Christmas movie, so he watches them every year between Christmas Day and New Year's. <laughs> so Aww. there's That's yeah, I, yeah, I really, I really enjoy rewatching Lord of the Rings um, and The Hobbit as well. So there, but I've also uh, seen Potter multiple times too. We love watching um, Elf during Christmas season. Have you guys seen Elf? No. Buddy the Elf. Who is that? He was um, one of the people from Saturday Night Live. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think but I know I who you are. But, but I've never seen it. <laughs> oh, it's such a I'm, I'm, I'm too busy watching The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> True. 
the same actor that I'm speaking of was in the um, the Lego movie too. He was the dad of the kids. He was. Oh yeah, I know. Downstairs. Yeah. yeah, the tall guy with the curly hair. Yeah. 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 He was Elf. He was Buddy the Elf in the movie Elf. It's so funny. Oh Such my gosh. Fantastic. That's so cool. Yeah. Brickish is saying Elf is a great Christmas film. So it looks like there's an Elf category of film watchers in my stream and then there's a Lord of the Rings category of film watchers in the stream. <laughs> oh, here we go. Lego Lemaniac has said Will Ferrell. So Elf, Elf with Will Ferrell yes. is the actor. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. There you go. Yeah, exactly. Okay, guys, this is really cool. I'm really starting to like this little mosaic. It's really awesome. thick. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's thicker than what I thought it was going to be. This is so cute. I'm really going to hang it somewhere. It's not, I'm waiting to finish the face. It's got me working on the back. Yeah. Let's we'll see what the face is. Cool. Like. Yeah, I've just realized that I should be putting my, um, my Diagon Alley builds next to each other. <laughs> Clip them in. Oh, then the they details. can. Yay. Yeah. Uh, Dio, I need your help. I'm missing a piece. <laughs> and then Amy said her I'm favorite not... Christmas films are White Christmas and the Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes. Yes, I love those. Jack and Sally are the best. This piece, that was also a too. All right, guys, um, I'm on the hunt for this tiny little piece. <laughs> move it over. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm currently at three. Oh, no. <laughs> Check your bags. Make sure that it hasn't been left behind in the bag. Or check the Did chihuahua's you know? mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man, this might be a disaster. <laughs> yeah, it might That's end up being. Found it. Oh, Geo to the rescue. He found it. Yeah, I know. Otherwise, you're going to end up in my situation where you just have a couple of random leftover pieces that you have to go back to later. <laughs> yes, I knew I had Geo for a reason to find my missing Lego parts. <laughs> and then Corne said that he absolutely loves the Christmas Carol um, and also the Nightmare Nightmare Before Christmas as well. So, yes, I think how a lot of about, people. How about the one, A Christmas Story, where the boy oh. wants the BB gun and the mom keeps saying, you'll shoot your eye out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and then <laughs> Brickish has just said, Geo is like Cornet, <laughs> because Cornet is always reminding me what I need to do. Cornet, where's that part, Cornet? <laughs> I mean, every single stream I'm saying, what's going on? Who is that character? Corne, look this up for me. And now Corne's like, Mama Ruth, you've put that part in the wrong way round. <laughs> I see it in this chat and I'm like, oh, thanks. let me know that I need to turn my cobweb around. <laughs> That's why you're my Lego son, Corne, and Gio is actually <laughs> Angela's son, Lego and otherwise. <laughs> Oh, well spotted, British. I love that. <laughs> See, we all need a Lego sun in our lives. We do, indeed. We most definitely do. They keep us on track. <laughs> they look after us. Yes. Yeah, so much like it. last week. Yeah. But <laughs> Cornet's yeah. just written back in capitals. That's so true. <laughs> He's okay. agreeing. Yes. Gio just finished another build. He's on his second build, and I haven't even finished oh my the first. 
<laughs> that's amazing. Is that that's this little street sweeper, isn't it? It is. That's a it's real... so cute. I love these little brush parts. Yeah, it's really cute. It's a really nice build. That one. That's another one he picked out from Legoland yesterday. Yay! I know. I've still got to put on a lot of stickers, but I'm not going to do my stickers tonight because I'm a bit tired. I had lots of excitement yesterday with um, Smiley's and, and Dan's wedding, so I'll have to go back and do my stickers. And I still haven't even done my stickers from last week either, those round stickers. So I've still got my round stickers to do over here. And then I've got these ones to put on here. I've got these ones to put on here. And then I've got the big red, red ones to put on here as well. <laughs> and then Corne said, Ruth's son is an imaginary quokka. That's a bonus because last week we had to pick out our Australian animals. <laughs> Corne's quokka. Um, I don't, what did we say you were going to be? I can't remember now either. You started oh, off as a. Oh, the possum. Oh, the possum, yes, the ringtail possum. That's right, because you started off as a sloth. That's right. Yeah. And then You're Amy. I think, I think at one stage I was a dingo because obviously I love dogs. Um. And I can get a bit protective and territorial of the people that I love as well and I look after them. Um, and then I think at another stage people were saying, oh, that's that Ruth's not like a dingo. But I don't know, maybe I am a little bit. Um, and then I think that at one stage we were saying a sugar glider because sugar gliders are very cute. They've got lovely little faces. They are. <laughs> And then Corne and Amy are getting very excited in the comments about what if Lego did a Nightmare Before Christmas set. And that they're sort of saying amazing. it would be it would be good for Lego ideas. Obviously, we did get the minifigs in the CMFs. And then we've got could do Jack's house or the swirly mountain that's so iconic on the front of the cover. Amy was saying yes, she was thinking of Christmas Town. And then Corne said they would have to do Oogie Boogie. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, I agree with all of that. But I think it's also one of those things because I think that Corne is probably right in the fact that it would possibly be an ideas set. Um, but for me, I'd prefer to want to want it to be more than just ideas. It would be nice if we could get like a handful of sets. Three, four or five sets would be really nice. In the same way that I'm sort of like going, it would be really nice to get a Winnie the Pooh set, which is highly likely through Lego Ideas, but then we'd only get one. And you'd need more than just one for Winnie the Pooh. You know, you'd need like Piglet, you'd need like, Pooh corner, you'd need like little rabbit hole where Winnie the Pooh gets stuck, you know. Yes, I think um, we should work for Lego and make this happen. <laughs> yeah, yes, agreed. <laughs> Too, bad. Too bad I'm not a master builder and they'd never hire me. <laughs> but minor setbacks. <laughs> Let's not worry about that. <laughs> and then Corne saying that he still wants Marshmallow Man for Lego Ghostbusters. Um, it would be a fantastic display piece to have stay puffed. Yes. Um, I think on Brixenville, one of our lovely German builders, he's got, I think that he managed to find a, um, a stay puffed mock. And so he ordered all the parts and built that up as a mock because he's actually got a giant stay puffed marshmallow man in the middle of his city that we ended up accidentally calling, yeah, that we ended up accidentally calling Stay Puff Plaza. <laughs> and then um, 
And then Corne's reminding me that Winnie but the Pooh set did qualify for ideas. I couldn't remember whether or not they did he did or he didn't. But see, this is why I need a Lego son, Corno, because you keep me on track. <laughs> And then rabbit garden, yes. And then Corne said that he'd love to become a graphic designer for Lego to design the stickers and prints. Oh, and Dan's saying that one of his favourite Christmas movies is Scrooged with Bill Murray. My brother absolutely loves Bill Murray. Bill Murray is my brother's all-time favourite actor. So I've watched so many Bill Murray films with my brother. And Bill Murray has been in some brilliant movies as well. So, yes, that's definitely up there. And how are you going? What about the what about the what about Christmas movies with Chevy Chase? Um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do you remember I that one? Yes, I do. I remember those movies being iconic when I was a child. <laughs> yes. Yeah, huge. Let's see here. <laughs> I'm almost oh, yeah. With so my they, always, they always watched Scrooge at Christmas time as well. And I think that, if I... oh, oh, so well, Winnie the Pooh set qualified for ideas, but I think that Amy is saying that it's actually getting through. So we are actually getting a Winnie the Pooh set. Oh, wow. Oh, that's exciting. Are you all finished? It's all... I am. Yay. Oh, that looks gorgeous. That's a really cool. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. It's even got the stand at the back and everything. That's so cool. I that looks it. amazing. It's, it's a lot. Know, I'm obsessed with Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm shocked. Your T-shirt doesn't say that. The name of your channel doesn't say that. <laughs> Exactly. My name of Mommy Jedi doesn't say that. No, no, exactly. It's so much, that build is so much thicker and so much more robust than what I thought it was going to be. Hi. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. If that's I'm so cool. Correct, I think this is only like a $10, $12 set. Yeah. That's cool. This is a very and then, inexpensive set. Yeah. And Brick is just saying that that's their favourite out of all the Lego sketches is that one. Oh, nice. What other and ones do they have, Brick, besides the Stormtrooper and the Joker? Do they have a Batman? Was that one as well? That would be cool. I, think. I need my Baby Yoda one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they do they have a Baby Yoda one. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, they maybe not. They do have the Baby Yoda build just like the Master Yoda build, so I will be getting that. Oh, my God, that's going to be so nice for you to be able to have Baby Yoda and Yoda next to each other. That would be awesome. Yes. <laughs> Super Gosh, cool. I love this thing. I can't stop. Oh, yeah, Brick is just saying Batman and BB-8. BB-8 too? Yeah. Ooh. So I think that we must have got Batman and Joe together and then we've got the two Star Wars ones together. That makes sense. Got it. You know what I wish, Ruth? I wish there would be more Little Mermaid sets. That's what I wish. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're, we'll, we'll get them. We'll get more. We will. It would be nice to get another mermaid castle. That's the thing that I think would be really nice because we haven't had a mermaid castle for a really long time. And the other thing that's really nice is that we've got more underwater animals now with turtles and baby turtles and dolphins and baby dolphins and 
seahorses now as well. So I just sort of go, it's going to be really nice to be able to put more marine animals into my underwater mermaid village in my city as well. Yeah. Okay, don't be alarmed if all of a sudden I cut off because I think one is going to die soon. Oh, no, that's okay. I was going to say it's coming up to the four-hour mark, so we'd better wrap things up because it is midnight now over here. I do have work tomorrow. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's all good. Well, it and Courtney's so saying that he so wants more little mermaid sets. Yeah, he wants more little mermaid sets as well, so that's going to be awesome. So what we'll do is thank everyone for coming into the chat. It's been so nice having you stream with me, Angela. Absolutely lovely. And it was so nice having Mama's Bricks on earlier as well. So now that I've started to figure out how to have guests on my chat or on my live streams, I'll try and do that more often. So hopefully we'll be able to come on and have a bit of a chat to each other and enjoy you guys in the comments as well. So again, if anyone in the comments is keen to come onto the chat, just um, private message me over on Instagram. That's probably the best way to let me know and then I can sort all of that out. Thank you so much, Angela, for coming on and for Geo building behind the scenes and supporting you. Big thumbs up to Geo. Really appreciate that. Us. <laughs> That's okay. And, of course, we've got to thank I Mama's Brick for being here earlier as well. It was absolutely lovely. Good night, Dan. It's so nice that you're a happily married man now. All the best to you, buddy. And also thanks, everyone, for coming on and watching on a Sunday night or Sunday daytime, whatever time it happens to be there for you guys. And next week um, we'll be back to Saturday as well. Hopefully, if I haven't forgotten any other important occasions that I'm supposed to be going to, like I did this week. <laughs> yes, Corne, we'll definitely I have you on the show as well. Again. Sorry? I if I ever join again, I'll be set up better. That's okay. We don't we don't mind. <laughs> We're just happy to have people come on board and chat about Lego. It's it's not fancy. As as the maniac said, we don't come here for professional <laughs> live streaming. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye, everybody.